hooked up to every electrical device in your house? Not every. Just my heating, <laughs> my heating system and my curtains. <laughs> Man said his heating system <laughs> and his <laughs> curtains. <laughs> Mad. I'm, li- I'm lying. Do you have curtains? No, I've got blinds. <laughs> Venetian, they Venetian. I hate this guy. I ain't got that shit. So yeah, it's hooked up to my blinds. So, oh, okay then. Yeah. You blind, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, hold it down. Yeah, see, nigga. You hold it down. You hold it down. You hold it down. You hold it down. Mama, love you. Mama, love you. Mama, love you. Legally blind. Oh shit, <laughs> man. Fucking, I'm getting hot already, fam. This is how funny you niggas is. It's yeah. hot. <laughs> you know, it's yeah, hot. Remember, remember when you used to chat just bare shit before Chad got here? We always used to We used, we, but we oh, were bro. more crazier then. We oh, did Chad come and tame uh, you guys? He, no, uh, he, tamed, uh, he tamed Brian. Let me I made a word. I added to it. Okay. He tamed Brian, I right? He so. tamed me. Mm. Because you're, I'm, I'm the craziest I'm, one. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, y'all don't have to change it. Which one thinks they're Tupac? Because what someone thinks they're Tupac. I mean, I don't no, think no, 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 no. He's, um, he's our generation's too. No, too. You gotta give him that. Give him. Just give it to him. That's no, his, no, that's his intro. Been, that's fam, his intro. Already, from a pick game, fam. I appreciate that. Yeah, I've seen the DMX appreciation. Now. One day, you. One of these days, I'm gonna get a watch that tells my blinds to open. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Keep working hard, bro. You get it. Find someone like Chad and just get their 20%. The party man. (laughs) My 20%. My 20% my twenty for me. Yo, man said to catch the 10. The golden goose. (laughs) 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 But anyways, since we're recording, let's get it started. Welcome, 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 welcome. Get the Kid Podcast episode 15. Is it 15? Yep, my guy. I bet you were over over 1,000 plays already so by this time. That's lovely. Hopefully. Crossed, but anyways, yeah, my name's Dan Ryan, whatever you want to call me. Ishmael, I'm back. I'm here, I'm here to avenge y'all from Ryan. And Welcome back, bro. Welcome chatting. back. Welcome back. I forgot he talking wild on your streets. <laughs> Just because I, I called you like a road man. I see you, son. Hey, man, listen, man. We don't do road. We do necessary. You get me? All right, cool. All right. Jeez! Ismail, Ismail, Ismail. Ismail! You better tell him, son. That was hard. Oh, Cookie's here. That was really gangster. Yo, come on, man. Chad's back. I'm here. You know how it is. I'm not going to say anything. Just, I'm here in it. Yeah, we mm-hmm. back. We be, we were gone for two weeks, car. You know, you know. It is what people it is. got obligations and shit. Yeah, right. yeah, we had obligations. Whoever thought that Ishmael was actually a road man, you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, we back. We back. We back. We got bad people here. Actually, it's just crazy. Yeah. I never expected actually people to just randomly come. Surprise! Back. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, Ten dies back. She's in the background. Cookies back. She's in the background as usual. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's his literal siren. Dog. Oh. Yeah, from that ad lib, you've got a new guest. Please introduce yourself, my guy. Luke Taylor, the first. Hey, AKA Jesus. Mr. OTB. Mm-hmm. Okay, then. AKA Wise Guy Luke. Mm-hmm. And I'm okay, sorry, you liars. That's a lot of titles, man. Nice. Let's him continue. Protect with the realm. Anymore. I might just let you guys call me William today. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no more big William. My game is grown. Prefer you call me William. Oh, hey. Jesus. Uh, Spy- <laughs> that was fire. Yeah. <laughs> He's chasing his lyrics. Yo, Cookie, your ad libs are too oh, iconic man. in this podcast. Yo, yeah. I'm going to expose this nigga, Cookie B. He stole them ad libs from Vice Cartel oh, for me. Don't let him fool you. I mean, we. <laughs> Hey, respect the vibes. Apparently he took, but, alone. He took it to the next level, though. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cookie yeah respect the vibes still, Carl. I didn't know you had an alcoholic beverage until a few weeks ago, still. Shout out vibes, Carl. You know what it's called? <laughs> Just it called? vibes. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, Apparently, wow. it was like some 110% or some shit. <laughs> How is that possible? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, know. I'm going to say this. I don't How know. is that know, possible? I found it. I'm going to stay with that 0%, fam. Okay, is this real? So what's the extra ten percent? Is that like water? I don't is it? Know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I heard when you it get an extra ten percent. Hey, free, I, I heard it. I'm he- I heard it from a podcast. And I heard <laughs> it from. Relax. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> and, <laughs> I heard it from a podcast. For one <laughs> and two. Hey, the do comedians you, and do three, do you Google? Do you Google? Do you Google? Like, like, do you Google? 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 Do you Google?
the other news that you said. Uh, yeah, <laughs> listen, fam. I didn't even know that was fake. I'm not going to lie. Still. Sorry, Sam. Can somebody tell Luke what happened? So basically, my man Ryan over here got us a, new, a, news, a newsletter. Not a newsletter. It was like a page. <laughs> like right? an article. Website. It was off a website called Global 360 News. And obviously, from, from get-go, you know that sounds official, isn't it? And this page said, Samuel Ito kills girlfriend while having sex with her on a balcony. I listened to that episode. Cookie, you was here, right? Yeah, yeah. When you did that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and then he was backshot in the thing and then she fell off the bumper. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Allegedly. Yeah. Out, it was an allegedly thing. It was thing, fake though. news. It's yeah, fake yeah, news. But we end. should have caught this because it says the thing happened in Turkey, but the police officers were black. <laughs> <laughs> off the picture. That two and two don't make four. <laughs> I have seen it right there, but I don't know. I got just caught off, caught up in the... But anyway, sorry. Just... But yeah, we I were... Think I think I heard, I heard it elsewhere as well, so... so it's not <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, I yeah, hope man. people understand that he has a legacy bigger than that. Oh, yeah, that one of the best strikers in the world. That nigga's an OG, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, one of the best strikers in the world, but, you know. But if he was back shot in the thing to death, that would have been... <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a fish to the still. next level, you know, like that. Yeah. That would have been yeah, a fish really still. That would have turned you to Thanos, man. Fuck. Oh, my yeah. days. Let's bring that up now. <laughs> with this Who's watch yeah. Avengers? <laughs> Who watch Avengers? Yeah, I've seen it. Are we all watch Avengers? You watch Avengers? Nah, I ain't watched it, so don't fuck it up for me. Oh, okay, then. Wow, that was shut down. So let's talk about something else. I'm joking, I'm joking. Have you watched it? <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen, I'm just a guest here. <laughs> you guys talk about what you want to talk about. It's not that serious. Nah, Have you not watched it? Nope. We can... well, I do want to go see it, though. Yeah, go see I'm, it, sure, go I, see I'm sure it. we can talk about it and I'll still enjoy it. Sure. Okay. okay. I'm just going to commend them for the direction they're taking things. I'm just saying now. I did not anticipate, a bad boy. I did not anticipate what they were planning on doing with this. So Thanos keep is an a bad boy. Yeah, man. Thanos is a bad boy. Yeah. This is Thanos' yeah. film, fam. That's all it is. I wish I wish certain things were taken... A bit longer though. Nah, man, because they turn, had to tell, turn, they had to turn. say a lot in the story, yeah. man. Yeah. They did well to condense it all in mm-hmm. what, three hours or something like that. Some two and a half. Bit, two and a half. It two felt like three. <laughs> nah, it was two and a half still. Especially if you wait for after the credits. Oh, yeah. oh hell yeah! That after you're gonna have shot? to sit till oh, the God, actual gracious. end. I'm excited for 20, end, 20, 20, Is it twenty? Yeah, mm-hmm. next year. Next year, it all yeah. comes out. Yeah, so that's gonna be interesting. Were you vexed when um? Don't oh, ruin it for the homie, man. Okay, Come on, right, man. Don't worry. No, no, no. It's calm. Nah, because... No, let me tell you. I hate spoilers, man. And this movie's... Like, there's so much there's shit to so fucking spoil. There's so much spoil. shit. Oh, so much shit. Function, I am a good star. Listen, Cookie, like, <laughs> like, Oh, you know, my this goodness. This is sick, fam. My I'm heart. I was about to say, you guys are very, like... I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Hey, Cookie just shat shit, man. Like, yeah, as per usual. As per usual. Yeah, man. Bad people get stabbed anyway. I've met Cookie before, so I know he's a bit crazy. Yeah. That's why we love him, man. Speaking of crazy people... No, but Cookie's, like, literally, like, my brother. Like, bless, like bless, that, so. bless. Speaking of crazy people, though, uh, Bill Cosby. Mm. Um, <sighs> let's 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 all um, take a moment of silence. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, you know, no. for uh, the police, for well, the actual is it, world. Is it, is it the shadow government? <laughs> 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 shadow last government. Episode. <laughs> he was leaving the shadow government on everything. Oh, but that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm but just saying. It's facts. Hey, I'm trying. I'm trying to get my segues to work now. So it's kind I mean, of working still. Yeah. <laughs> still but yeah, Bill, yeah. <laughs> goodbye, Bill Cosby. I mean, um, it's been goodbye, Bill Cosby. Yeah. Yeah. So what, what are we talking about? Are we like? Wondering if he's guilty or not guilty. Or he's already been decided. convicted. He's, he's been convicted. Convicted. Yeah. Like, does that mean he's guilty? I think so. I would always be lying sometimes. Because the justice system is so. Perfect. But, All right, yeah. cool. Always be lying sometimes. I'm not going to lie. Huh? Always be lying sometimes. But not in the fucking <laughs> dozens <laughs> of what <laughs> the but No, but that's just a... You know me. It's just a flipping devil's advocate, man. Ho- a lot of hoes lie nowadays. That's a goddamn devil right there you're advocating for. <laughs> Shit, motherfucker said... <laughs> it's like, get the fuck over me <laughs> with your shenanigans. I'm done with this. But yeah, how many years did he get? I don't know, man. It's like 30 I've, years I, or some I, shit. What, is he going to jail? Yeah, I'm gonna say it's he's been convicted been already. He's yeah. been convicted. Yeah. Did everybody yeah, see the meme? He's convicted doesn't mean he's gone to prison. Is he in prison? You know, he's. he's an, I prison. think he's, he's on house he's arrest. Going. He's on house arrest, but he's going. He's on house arrest currently. Okay, but boom, this is what I want to say about Bill Cosby. Yeah. How many um black um just heroes? Because mm. he Bill Cosby, he used to be that squeaky clean mm. guy, like you know, like oh, you, you know, like the the you know the the, the middle class proper. Family man, yeah. yeah, representing the black black family in a mm. in a very positive light, which yeah. we don't really have a lot of that. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. I know, like later on, we had like a couple, like my wife and kids. Yeah, and stuff yeah. Like yeah. That. yeah. But um, how many black men who are still wearing their halo and they were they were legends and 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 they haven't been decrowned at the end somehow? How many can we name? <laughs> 
<laughs> that's a very good point. That's genuinely a very good point because true? obviously there's we that's talk, happened a whole lot of times. We the whole fucking DMXs and a lot of like, OJ, a lot of OJs. R Kelly. Like who do we have? Like, is it, is it, is it, a scandal might come out about Obama. Like, you know, yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's there's, true. There's, so with I'm that, expecting, I just I'm not gonna lie. I'm good. I'm good. I'm expecting like uh uh what you call it a flipping expose coming out of Steph Curry or LeBron James at some point. <laughs> These mean, men can't be that clean. Is it is it because they're not clean? Because I wasn't necessarily I, going there. Like you, so I don't I, feel like it's. I, not, I wasn't it's, saying they're not clean. I'm just saying like. Shadow government, bro. Yeah, it's true. Yo, like, yo, yo, I'm tired. I'm gonna come clean. Shadow government on the motherfucker. Yo, I'm gonna come clean. Are we tired in the episode? This shadow listen, government. Listen, listen. Yeah, might have to be. Do that. Do that at your own risk, man. That's all I know. Do that. Out the box. Out the box. Out the box sounds like a good time. Do I have to pay for admission for that? Nah, I'll allow you to use it right, this cool. time around. Cool. 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 Is that cool? Cool. cool? Out the box, maybe, maybe still. Yeah, maybe. But, out uh, of the box. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, goodbye, Bill Cosby. That's my fa- one of my favorite goodbye. TV programs. Genuinely. But to answer your question, I feel like, obviously, it's not to say that there's dirt behind everyone, but obviously there has been, if a black actor or actress or whoever ha- has done some shit, they want to scrutinize them and they want to make sure that they pay for that shit. And I understand, obviously, there's more leniency with non-black actors because there's a whole bunch of actors who fucked up like Russell Crowe, like Bad. Bill Murray, yeah. like fucking Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey. All them niggas fucked up, but no one's. Bruv, there's a fucking film director who's Woody oh, Allen. I don't know um, if you guys heard about him, but what he's done was he used to be married. Um, so basically, he used to be married back in the '80s. Adopted a uh, Asian Asian girl. When she was 17, he divorced the mom, and he ended up marrying her, the girl he adopted, and he's still with her. And niggas are still rocking with this motherfucker. Yeah, that's wow. crazy. They still rocking with it. They consider him one of the greats. And the thing is, he's cool. Like, he's actually great. But the fact that he's done that shit is And it's still not in the yeah. light. And my, it's still my, not... My thing, just... I'm not saying... When I, when, I, when I put that question out there, it's not necessarily I'm saying, like, oh, why are they being exposed and other people ain't been exposed type of thing. It's more like, are they guilty? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ooh, shadow government. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you felt that? Bro, that nigga R. Kelly is guilty. Though. That, that nigga guilty. Yeah, 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 That's yeah. what I mean. I was like, yo, 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 yo. Like, <laughs> I brought up R. Kelly just earlier. If, like, a grown oh, ass man, if a grown ass man got to ask, what do you mean teenage? That shit's goofy yeah. like a motherfucker. Yo, everybody yo. has watched the documentary, right? Um, nah, I mean, nah, I ain't about to watch it either. Nah, I just I'm know he's guilty, shit. fam. What's it called? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> on like, BBC, I heard fam. the song The Pie Piper, fam. Mm. He's calling himself The Pie Piper. Yeah. Yeah. The children Mad out thing. There. I, I forgot Mad what it's called, thing. but go, go to BBC iPlayer or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's on there, it's on there. Especially that, um, I'd recommend everybody go watch the Stephen, Stephen Lawrence. Stephen Lawrence. Stephen Lawrence, sorry. <laughs> Stephen Lawrence. The, that documentary. What, was he Charmin Lester too? No, 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 no. He was. That's a touchy subject, you know. No, it's just because he was, I believe he was 18. Or 20s? I'm gonna need to look. Yeah, at basically, it. He, he Steve, got, Stephen Lawrence. Stephen Lawrence. I'll, I'll yeah. tell you guys because yeah. I'm older. Yeah. So like, I remember when this was like a big hype. Mm. I was Steve, born Stephen, that year, Stephen, so. Stephen Lawrence was um, a, a, a young black guy who was uh, who was killed in a racist attack, and the guys got acquitted, but there were there there was just blatant evidence, mm. and uh, and uh, it was just it just started a it was an co- ongoing conversation for years. Mm. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So he's mm. he's just that UK representative. Mm. of of hate crime <clears throat> towards um you know what i'm saying yeah because that one because when i was watching it they were starting the big be- started all the way to the beginning of like during the day and then after and so forth and they always been showing the mom's point of view yeah because the mom's obviously the most the parents are most mm-hmm. the most hurt mm-hmm. but they are also showing clips of the short film no the film sorry that was made a few years after um the attack like the whole process of them seeing Lawrence getting stabbed to all the way to the prosecution, uh, the way they're the activists and so forth of like, um, Man- I think Mandela uh, turned up at one point uh, throughout the years. Um, yeah, the St- Stephen Lawrence thing is a it's, it's, mm-hmm. it's a mm-hmm. It's a different, it's a, di- it's a, it's a power, because I never knew about this. The only reason I knew about it is because a, a, a girl was like, oh, um, I'm watching this, so this documentary. And she's like, she, that's the first documentary she's ha- watched that she had to be brought in tears. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. And I was like, wow. <clears throat> like, 
I have to watch this. I have to watch this just yeah. to be because my parents never even watched it. They didn't even know about it. Because mm. yeah. imagine mm. we came here like two thousand early two thousand, so we don't know shit. Okay. So I actually watched it with my parents. Okay. And they were just like, "What?" I mean, that's the kind of thing that'll like, shock anyone, isn't what? it? Yeah, like, yeah, regardless of yeah. the context of it, it yeah. will shock yeah. the hell out of you, yeah. whatever side you're on. Mm. And I'm pretty sure the people who were involved in that situation could see that, and they were like, "This is fucked up." Yeah. They 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 had like. <clears throat> They had, like, BBC documentaries, like, back in the day where yeah. they would be, like, they had footage of these guys uh, bragging and then talking yeah, this they, hateful shit. Yeah, they, there was a video evidence of, like, one of the guys literally, like, saying, I want to kill that the black guy that's walking past over there, over across the road and shit. Yeah, and, and they're and literally they, having they, knives on their hand. You just caught and, one of the guys. And Jesus Christ, yeah. You caught him in Barcelona. Really? Is it? Yeah, so he's coming back to the UK. Wait. Chilling, to... Well, yeah, he ran away because the yeah, police were searching. Yeah, for searching him. for him. Yeah, searching for him. Found him. Found him. Fair enough. But yeah, yes. after, uh, on a lighter note, let's. Fuck it, no, that's depressing. Right? <laughs> yeah, no, like, yeah, damn. He tends to do that. Fuck it, no. Yeah. But, <laughs> it's a test still. It's a but that went from Bill Cosby um, though. Yeah, I mean, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, the Bill Cosby thing. I was, I was just gonna add that I was watching um a Michael Jackson um speech. So there's a speech where Michael Jackson is talking about um. Sony, mm. right? I think I've. I think so I've basically, it. there's always some. I don't. I don't want to come on here and be the conspiracy guy, but mm. whatever. Come on, this man. Is, we love I mean, it. That's fine. We love it. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I hate doing doing this conspiracy shit. But cool. however, since um we're talking about uh, Pill Cosby. <laughs> Pill oh. Cosby. <laughs> I, I was gonna correct him. And then I'm like, oh wait. <laughs> Pill Cosby. Uh, there, there's always some sort of fight with with a big corporation mm-hmm. happening with these individuals, these black individuals yeah. around the time. So mm-hmm. around the time when Prince died, suspiciously, <clears throat> he was fighting for his um publishing with these big corporates mm. and you know, people like Prince, these 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 guys, this is billions that we're talking about. This is real money. Like yeah. we're living yeah. people here in Bristol, you get licked down for a couple of grand, like you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So yeah. think about what, what, yeah. what they'll do for billions. Um you said Oh this. hell fucking hell. And um so you got Mike, right? Mm-hmm. And uh Prince, Prince. Mm. Bill Cosby. Look, mm. look into it. Just look what, what no, Bill Cosby I was, very, was up to. I was right? very no, aware because what happened? He wanted was, to, buy, to buy. Yeah, he went to buy. What happened before Prince died? They took all of his music off um, Spotify. I don't know about iTunes or Apple Music, but they took all that stuff off. And I'm not. I don't know if I'm mistaken, but shortly after he died, they, they put everything back on. Aaliyah so everything. Aliyah did Aaliyah, Aaliyah is involved in this shit. Huh? Huh? The, the, no, no, Aaliyah no, no, no. Is, this is just unfortunate. It's a completely different level. No, 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 no. Yeah. You know, so basically, there's we're... conspiracies about that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah but this is not mm. the. This is a very specific conspiracy that I'm talking about. Mm. Right? Oh, okay. okay, and it's to do with um, artists and corporations and corporations. So you got the artist is the slave, mm. and then the corporation. So it's the time mm. when the artist doesn't wakes up and then he wants to be like a master or, mm. or he wants to self own or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, um. With 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 uh with because Michael Jackson is peak, you know. Mm-hmm. Michael Jackson left Sony, um. With all with all his publishing, right? But this is Michael Jackson, so just think about how much money that is, and on top of that, with half of Sony, so that means he had the Beatles' publishing. Catalog. Oh my He's God. got that. Jeez. So he he really 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 upset some people. Of course. Some really mm-hmm. like. High people up there in, mm. in, in the shadow government. I don't want to be for the shadow government, by the way. Well, listen, man. Me neither. <laughs> um, who else? Oh, we'll, I'll give you one more. Um, I did not know this. Oh shit. Who else? Give me someone else. That's what, that, Whitney. That... Even the Beatles. Don't nah, 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 nah. Whitney, Whitney, Whitney was on drugs, Whitney, oh. and she, she, she didn't own. Like, Are we blaming yeah, Bobby for that? Yeah, Jimmy, no, 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 no. no. I'm, talk, I'm talking about ownership. No. People who then wants, who wants to. So Bill, oh, Bill Cosby. That's what I was gonna say. Mm-hmm. Bill Cosby was about to. Uh, start his own network television mm-hmm, network mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so you see these nbc's and these hbo's mm-hmm. and stuff like that this is yeah now we're like getting up there it's like we, we, we'll put murdoch yeah. and, and, the, yeah. and them gang there mm-hmm. and cbs you yeah. know with their eye logo yeah. and stuff like that so, um, <laughs> right, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. oh yeah speaking of the the mute the when you said spotify right everybody mm. read about spotify what, what they recently done? They um they took down all of R. Kelly's and XXX oh, yeah. music. Mm. 
and then have a new policy. I don't know what the policy is. It's like a hate policy, which that's something yeah. hate content. I don't know if it was hate content or something like that, but something to do with that. And it's not that they, sorry, it's not that they took hateful well, conduct. Something like that. They didn't take the music down. They just stopped putting it on their promoted list. So Spotify have a bunch of like lists that obviously they promote with um, different t- themes and everything. But they said no XXSTentacion or R. Kelly on that. And people are kind of like questioning why that's the case, yeah. I guess. But yeah. I because, mean... Because of um, what happened during this past few months even. Like R. Kelly did with that doc and like all that shit. But that's been going on for years. Mm-hmm. And then you got XXSTentacion like... Mm. Moving greasy since he got into the music scene. Like, mm. I don't know, he wasn't cancelled from Early. day dot. Yeah. <laughs> like, but at the same time, he was doing. Did you see this YouTube video when he's like. I'm um, not too fussed with that guy, man. I no, 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 but I'm just saying, like, he donated um, a, lot of st- a lot of stuff to a, a orphanage. Mm. So he was doing something for the community. No, no, yeah, he, he donated really- a lot of money. At, Motherfuckers always money. doing shit for the community. It's just yeah. that it's his high, other yeah. side yeah. is just dirt, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, but which is I don't know. I don't know about that guy. The, the, the man is strange. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently he has a good album though. Apparently I need to still check that out, but mm. I haven't had time. Um, mm. But yeah, I don't know if you know this guy called um, Adam Adam Two Two. He he's a part of a. Um, uh, he does a lot of internet stuff, like internet interviews of up up and coming mm. artists. Right. Um, he uh, he has a show called No Jumper Online, which is a very popular interview yeah, interview yeah. platform on YouTube mm-hmm. for up and coming artists. He broke like Lil Xan, Uzi, so forth, and what was Lil Xan. Yeah, but Lil was, I, it's he's popular, isn't he? His name is Lil Xan. Who's Lil Xan? <laughs> My fucker's name I, is Lil Xan. I don't even yeah. like Lil Xanax. Yeah. <laughs> Are all these little rappers, I know, I know, I know, but I'm just like, 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 but still, like, I mean, like, I don't know why a plat, like, like, there's, there's so many artists he put on, like, that are blowing up now, that I can't, oh, he's a, he's a boss, so he's, no, he's a, he's an interviewer, oh, he finds local, local, um, he finds local talent in the hip-hop industry, right, 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 and interviews them as a, almost like, um, yeah. Doc- cloud, documents though, it. He yeah. almost documents their come up. Okay. Mm. But um, this is what he said when he heard about it. Yeah. And he when he this is what he said. If I can get the replay value on this. Mm-hmm. Basically, Spotify has decided that they are going to remove R. Kelly and XXX Tentacion from their playlist services, so they won't be being promoted by the service at all anymore. Which is a very interesting development that they've decided to take two black men and just punish them, despite the fact that musical history is full of tons of artists who've been charged and accused of all kinds of stuff. So the question is, why aren't we uh, also punishing Dr. Dre? Why aren't we also punishing Fabulous? Why aren't we also punishing Trey Songs? And not that I think that they deserve to have their music removed. Let's not even get into white musicians. Let's not talk about Gene Simmons, David Bowie, uh, Ozzy Osbourne. I mean, there's tons <laughs> of people throughout musical history. Why, is Tupac going to be removed from the service? because he was uh, convicted of rape or whatever. Spotify, I, I don't think that you've realized what a slippery slope you're on here and how much <laughs> this is not going to work out in the long term. So, so. Uh, And to make it make matters worse... Um, he's got a fire R- girlfriend. R. R- Kelly's not being convicted. Him. This guy is a free man, isn't it? Who? Yeah. R. Kelly's not yeah. being convicted of anything. He's not convi- convicted. Mm-hmm. Same with XX, oh, yeah. but... Same with X, really. But he's, the thing, he's not. Fuck he's that, convic- take that nigga's music off. Yeah, fuck that. All these guys with their tattoos on their face. Tell him to stick to SoundCloud or some shit, fam. Like Twenty One yeah, Savage can stay, but yeah. the rest of them. Twenty One can stay. <laughs> yeah, Twenty One Savage is That's hard, fam. We might as well take Uzi off then. No, Uzi, Uzi. How are you? Do, that's a different type of. They are different. What, what was wrong with Uzi? Uzi can fuck off. Mm. Uzi's cool though. Like he, he knows his lane. That's what I respect. Yeah. About okay, him. okay, okay, okay. Is Uzi but the I mean, guy that you're showing me with the handbags and the purse? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's <laughs> Uzi. <laughs> oh, you want to keep him? <laughs> no. There you go. Then. No, I said Twenty One Savage is the only one that I'm a fan of out of these guys with yeah. tattoos on their face and yeah. crosses on their face. <laughs> so, cause XS Tent, whatever his name is, yeah. yeah. Cross on his face is a knife. It's a knife. It's a knife. It makes it better. Skima Sasabo. That's fine, man. Yeah, yeah. So he's cool. Oh, but oh, XS Tent, Shine Shine, the rest of them, they got knives on and crosses on their face. Weird. Yeah, that's weird. But the thing is, I feel like this is a starting point. Like, if something of that nature is meant to be 
happening. They're not promoting it. They're not saying we're going to take the music off. They're just not promoting it. And I feel like that's I feel like that's a good enough statement because obviously no company wants to endorse someone who's problematic or who's fucked up. So for them, I think it kind of works out from their perspective as well in regards to like the corporate kind of sense of it or just kind of like how the company looks really. Mm-hmm. So are, are, are we going to move to title now or because uh, it is well, first nah, of all, I'm, if this I'm keeps really going, on title but like, can I just if this keeps going people will be looking to go somewhere else mm-hmm. mm. when and I title's about... there with a clean record to yeah my, go to title everybody you know what I'm saying I need to like, check title, title out. I still is title, title lit title's, title's, title's good lit. title's cool title's does good. title have every song in the world on it nah not really does it have a bit until at least title title represents um what I was talking about earlier, yeah. when the inmate becomes starts running the prison, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's the artist. I'm I'm very much for for mm-hmm. for artists owning their their shit. You know what I'm saying? Rather yeah. than oh, we're gonna basically create this and 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 work hard creating this within our culture. Then we're gonna give it to somebody over there that's nothing to do with our culture, so they can sell it back to our culture. Exactly. And, and then they're gonna give us shit. a little slight peanuts on the top to the yeah. per- you know what I'm saying? It don't make no sense. And that's why obviously. I'm 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 all for the independence and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and um and title because it's artists that own it, mm-hmm. that's why I'm for it. Um mm-hmm. uh, but I wanted to say about the um the art the Spotify thing, right? Yeah. Um it doesn't make sense because when you're saying art is endorsing art Spotify doesn't endorse art, it's their shop. So it's like if I go to the shop right now and buy mm-hmm. a pack of cigarettes that will kill me, but they'll sell mm-hmm. them. Mm-hmm. You, I mean, do you understand? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. my you're, you're Okay, cool. The 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 cigarette manufacturing that's a exactly. different conversation, yeah. right? Mm. Yeah. So is the shops gonna say we're not gonna support the so R Kelly then becomes like the the manufacturer of the cigarettes? Yeah. And mm. then the shop is saying we're not gonna sell your cigarettes mm. because they're killing people. Yeah. Yeah. Covering yeah. it up. Yeah. True. True. But I mean, so so okay. it's like, you know, it's kind of crazy right now. The it's aspect that I I mean the way that I kind of perceived the whole entire situation was obviously yes you are very right obviously it's not there it's not it's, it's safe instance it's a shop you you take what you want from spotify like yeah. you click on an artist or a song and you play whatever you want from, from them their Cause, aspect cause when have rock stars ever been clean exactly. yeah, yeah. Oh my God. that's what that's what i'm I, yeah i love rock stars to be rock, rock stars. stars you know what i'm yeah. saying yeah. kick some shit over like right. you know what I'm saying? Jesus right. Christ, fuck yeah. up shit like, yeah. do something yeah, that's crazy though. But, but no, I can't, you know, don't, don't, nah, no. don't do that. He's cancelled. <laughs> He's cancelled. But, yeah. but are we still going to listen to his music? I mean, it's, they'll still it's, play, play Ignition at weddings. It's, right? Li- li- happy people. Happy yeah, people in the barbecue. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, yeah. Yeah. happy people in the barbecue. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness, yeah. man. We're going to step in the name of We love. Eternally. I believe my I can nigga, fly. Eternally, like, fam. Come on. Like, I haven't listened yeah. to that song in a very long time. But remember, like, <laughs> I believe artists are just a vessel anyway. Yeah. They're, they're, they're if you had to take wolf. one song, yeah, uh, this is a little question. If you, if you could take one song from R. Kelly that can't be cancelled, you can just play since, you know. I can't be. even do that. That nigga got way too many He's got too songs, much. Man. I can cancel Wait, R. Kelly, I can, me I can, personally, I can, off my playlist. Off your playlist. I'm, I can easily not listen to no more R. Kelly yeah, as yeah. long as no, I can I've take away. No, I've got one song. I've got one song. The song he made with Nas. Did you ever think that one can't ever? Be a lot of people. Cool. A lot of fans <laughs> are saying <laughs> that. You know? so the one he had, Biggie was about two, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that one. I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm keeping three, three, three. I got three. Alright, which one is it? Alright, cool, 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 cool. Uh, uh, did you ever think he was rich? Uh-huh. Featuring Nas. Yeah. Uh, happy people, yeah. Yeah. And um. The the, 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 this is my song for real because the DJ is making me feel thugged out. <sighs> Do you know that tune? No, 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 no. I can't remember that. Then it's got Lil Kim in the video. It's like, are you gonna, you're not gonna make me sing and I can't sing for shit, but I'm gonna Google it. This is my song for real. Oh, yeah, I know that song. Because the DJ is making me feel thugged out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I know that song. Oh, yeah, I know that song. Because the DJ is making me feel thugged out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I know that song. Because the DJ is making me feel thugged out. That tune's hard. Feel on your booty. Feel it on your booty. Feel on your booty. Oh, my God. That's already perverted already. Um, um, interesting. I know, right? What you got, Chad? Yeah, you got, Chad. I could. Three. Actually, easily cancel. But him. three songs though. That's the. Question. If you can easily cancel that, that's that's a that's cool. Bro. I that's can easily cancel. I don't cancel. know. I mean, I don't. I, I don't, I don't really that bump him that, that much in it. Yeah. But he has some iconic Yo. songs. Though. Yeah, like was, Fiesta. I like Fiesta. Oh, yeah. but, Fiesta was a bop. But the one he had with Biggie was a fucking bop. Bro. I don't care what. Yeah, the song with Biggie. 
yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh my god, and f- fucking wine yeah. for me. Would you wine oh, for yeah, me? Yeah, that yeah, one yeah, is yeah. in the fucking jungle with the black bitch. And the fucking <laughs> 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 yeah, move your body like a snake, mama. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like a snake. Yeah. But hey, I don't need that, that, that man. Yeah, move that mic. Just to make sure everyone's heard. I'm gonna come clean. I I gotta put same girl with Usher. Same girl. Yo, got that, a new age. New. I'm an R and B guy. He's R and B dude, man. He's R and B through and through. He's R and B guy for time. He's R and B through and through. But I gotta put that as one. Two. I, I can play I can that fly. for you, bro. I believe mm. I can fly. Is uh, goodness. I yeah, don't know. Like, that's that's hard. Kind of it's it's, it's class. It's, it's a classic. Yeah. You, I, I feel. You know, I believe I can fly. It's kind of wet now. I mean, for 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 the history books, I'm like, yeah, but. Going forward, yeah. if I was to cancel it nope. from now, yeah. I'll, I'll have yeah. to yeah. 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 uh, go forward. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll put happy people too, actually. So about happy people. Jesus Christ. But yeah, Ish, you got uh, three? Or you can, you just cancel him? I don't like. I don't feel like I can ent- entirely cancel him, but I feel like it can happen. I just really hate the fact that he had a big hand in like New Jack Swing and shit, man. Like mm. that whole she's especially with Aaliyah. I hate him for that. Vibe. I'll give you one more. Vibe. I'll I'll give you one Ooh. more, Kelly. Go on. Oh my God! I'm not canceling this song. Fuck you. <laughs> I am a tall tree that the world's greatest. World's greatest. Oh, 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 I am a winner. Okay, I've got two. I've got two. I've got two. Did you ever think I'm the world's greatest? No, no, no. That's, yeah, that's Yo, the it. world's greatest is a bop. The world's greatest. Yeah, if you didn't make that, they wouldn't have the Yachty remix in it. I found all up there in the sky. Tell them to suck your mama. I'm from Zimbabwe, by the way. Classic. No, we got Zim representatives for, uh, for days. Um, oh, but yeah, you, you just cancel them. You don't care. Yeah, I feel. Like, I feel like the other songs that were mentioned. Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, songs. I'm attached like, to those. Quite a few. There's Bear Man. I just still hate him for Aaliyah. That's the only thing. What do you hate for Aaliyah? 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 No, I hate him because of the whole shit he wrote with Aaliyah. Because the music like, that he wrote with Aaliyah. Number, AJ not in number one number. Yeah, he was like, that is kind of creepy. He was on a sweetie man thing from early, innit? Yeah, but she was yeah. like, sweetie man. Thing. She was like, like she was sweetie man. man. She was like, <laughs> <laughs> sweetie man. Just <laughs> a sweetie nah. child. No, I love Trust it. me. But yeah, man, I hate. I just hate him man, for that because Aaliyah man. is just mm-hmm. probably it, Aaliyah would be over Beyonce if she was still alive. Facts. Yeah. Mm. I don't know about all of that, but I mean, I like, yeah, I don't know. I don't we, know. We, we will never know. Yeah, we will never we know. Never know. But we could, you know, we could it's a bit of a reach. Oh, how, how, how? How is that a reach? Gal- a galactic like, reach, my friend. That's I, a reach. I genuinely Whitney, feel that's Whitney. a reach. Like, why, why? I could say something about Whitney. If, if the thing about like, Aaliyah, oh, she was the dope. She was the dopest. One really? of the dopest chicks yes, that we've seen thus far. Um, she was. Um. But Beyonce, it's, it's a whole complete different package, bro. Yeah. But we never, well, we will never know just because she of, can't she, sing like B, bro. Really, no, no, she but we will never like know. Me. The reason why we will never we know, know is because she her, this, yeah, because of like certain history. She didn't have a big body like B. <laughs> <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> we don't know if she went gym. We don't know if she went gym. Come on now. Baby, I'm yours. I wanna cater to you, boy. Let me cater to you, cause baby, this is your day. She has Beyonce had the factor of Destiny's Child before she was Beyonce. Like she was likable in Destiny's Child mm-hmm. before she got to be in Beyonce. So I felt like that definitely worked for her advantage, yeah. like a motherfucker. Yeah. So I don't feel like the whole Ali concept or the discussion isn't really. I don't know. I, I, I genuinely like verdict as a motherfucker reach. That's how I feel. But we will never know. I feel That's like why Aaliyah would, before, would, be, would be more known as. I, I feel like Aaliyah would have evolved into like a Will Smith. Like okay. More, more Hollywood. More and action. She was, oh, yeah, she was yeah. already acting. doing. Yeah. She, because yeah. of the yeah. almost died. Uh, it's because of the acting, the whole movie stuff. Yeah. She, 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 she was like doing real blockbuster. Mm. Yeah, she yeah. was. Yeah. Queen of the Damned and That's it. Jet Lee yeah. films. Like, and the thing is, that, that like shit that. worked for her more than it works for Beyonce, I felt. Oh, yeah. yeah. And oh, facts. Yeah, Romeo almost died, the Cradle to the Grave, all that shit. That shit worked for her fucking Beyonce's a whack actor. She looks programmed when she's in her films, bro. I don't know. Mm. Whack, I, but is that I, because I it's the Beyonce it factor? Sorry. Is it because it's, she's I, Beyonce? Actually, yeah. no, don't, no, I, I love and respect Beyonce highly, and it's not 
because oh, you, she's a great actor. Right? Yeah. Do you think? Do you think? Girls is dope though. Do you think? Oh, yeah. um, it's a musical. Dream Girls is dope. So, so Jennifer think Hudson Beyonce, killed that motherfucker. Yeah. 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 Do you do you think Beyonce is uh, gonna be bigger than Michael then? Because of the. Cause, yeah, because everyone's saying a lot of people are saying anyway online <laughs> just because of her Coachella performance. Mm-hmm. She's. Imagine she, Michael Jackson did Coachella. We need to see the figures. <laughs> <laughs> That's That's true. Ridiculous. You, need, you, you ridiculous, need to see the figures, but I feel like <laughs> we, need, we, need, we need the figures. Mm. I feel yeah. like I, I don't know because everybody's it was just talking because there was a there was a clip. I don't know if you watched that. Uh, there was a clip online of this guy articulating the whole performance. Mm-hmm. So saying how the um, this song was on a B major mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. this other song was on a B minor, but she turned mm-hmm. into a B major. So mm-hmm. the blend of both songs were in it, the transition the and so point, forth yeah. and you can notice that when she changed clothes her nail polish changed mm-hmm. and um mm-hmm. the way she walks in and the whole theme of the actual performance was um almost like a sorority mm-hmm. yeah no 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 that's uh, definitely like she's yeah. very articulate she did the whole step shit no i, I mean and that's... also like the whole beginning of her coming in in a in um in a egyptian theme okay. like she was she was a, basically a god Mm-hmm. Goddess. Yeah, goddess. Yeah. She does that all the time still. Mm-hmm. Um but compared it's just the to fact Michael Jackson's performance. Queen B, you know. Do you think that she was going to be Basically, uh there's no way that this generation growing up now in front of Beyoncé is going to be like mm-hmm. saying that mm-hmm. Michael Jackson is bigger than Beyoncé, right? Mm-hmm. So it's subjective. You know what I'm saying? You couldn't say that to someone who was of a, of age to understand music and stuff like that when Michael Jackson was alive they wouldn't agree, you know what I'm saying? But them motherfuckers are getting old and they're going to fade out. Mm. Mm. And after that, you got a bunch of beehives. You got the microphone right there. What are you playing? You know what I'm saying? Yo, this nigga Cookie's just lifting up his hand. Rihanna, Rihanna. What about her? Should be more like Rihanna today. Earlier, Rihanna. I just thought of it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I reckon Rihanna's more elite of today's earlier. I I understand what Cookie's saying. Say. If we if, if we if we don't focus on their personalities, yeah. yeah. I, I would have thought Tiana. You know that cool chick. Right. No, you got relax. And, and in fashion respect. wise, fashion wise, I wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, but they they're all influenced by Pia so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's bear them. You know like that. What about fashion? Wise? Did you see Rihanna at the Met Gala in the whole fucking doing the whole pop outfit? What oh, the yeah, fuck? Okay, let's talk about the Met Gala. That, that whole then. Met Gala thing was real like shadow government vibe. Yeah. yeah. Did you, bro? I was watching. Did, did, did you did you have a problem? with it though the whole theme I was because a like, lot of people were kind of like iffy about it what, 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 were I, they supposed to come all churchy was yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, church. yeah, yeah. Oh, looking all churchy looking all Christmas <laughs> gift wrap <laughs> <laughs> looking all <up. laughs> no but I agree with what you said because there was a weird sense of like the fuck's going on here like I saw someone's um, Instagram post I think it was John Boyega but there was like the intro everybody was in like robes and mm. it was like all they were singing hymns and I understand obviously it's a churchy theme but at the same time I was like it's a I Catholic, saw... ca- Catholic yeah. theme, but uh, I mean, an important question to ask. Well, for me anyway, you lot might enlighten me. Yeah. What is the Met Gala? <laughs> it's know, not an award show. It? Mm. No, it's basically just an event of people. It's just... a fundraiser. Yeah, it's a fundraiser. Do we get to see the footage inside, or it's just the? Celebra- there's there's a documentary sure. about it. I'm not I think. Really sure. So it's basically a celebration of art, which celebrities mm-hmm. fundraise towards, mm-hmm. and then they all go there, and then it just basically helps the art with within New York basically okay. right. so they buy the so ticket and the bu- ticket uh, I think the ticket's like a, a few grand still so I don't know how much and I assume they have rate. auctions and stuff like and that and apparently yeah. all no it's like 250 grand for a table yeah. or, or for, for a chair and or like something. there's <laughs> some um, there's also like every person there Cheap. gets a, gets a designer each Cheap. so they can only wear that designer they've been assigned to you have to get invited yeah, you have to get invited sometimes yeah Exactly yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. I think so you get you have to get invited yeah. to this thing, and you probably have to put. And we don't actually know what's really going on at the event. Because I think there's not... a documentary about it though. I've I've heard. I, I, I think my invitation been this year. Yeah, basically, like yeah. They, we don't know what we don't know what yeah. the Met Gala is. We really is. don't know. What yeah. We know it's a fundraiser for art, I guess. But where about? Uh, like which art? Basquiat. But but speaking of Met Gala, um, uh, what you call it? Um, T, uh, where is it? Terence J's girl? Jesus, Lord. She hot. She was fire. Oh, is that the nigga from One Hundred Six? Yeah. Man. Oh, son, I wonder yeah. what he's doing these days. Yeah. He's still making money, you know. Is it? Yeah, he's got like bare TV I think the last time I saw him was on. Think like a man. He's a really good businessman. Yeah, he's a good businessman. Did he? Did he taught him well? 
Diddy taught him up. Well, did he come up on the Diddy? I saw... Yeah, he came... He basically went... Um, I think bef- during 106, his 106 times in early days, because um, Ter- Terrence J didn't have a suit, Diddy bought him one. Okay. And then oh, took Terrence him under his wing a little bit, chance to kind of see... Yeah. Kind of teach him okay. the ways of what's going on. Because imagine he was just a graduate from university. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then he signed... And he auditions for 106 of Park. Diddy, after that, gets it. Diddy finds out he doesn't have a suit. Bang. That's how they get close. So that's, nice. that's why you always see Terrence J around Diddy, just cause. I mean, I do the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I, I just want to. Boy, I would stay around Diddy if I didn't. Are you crazy? <laughs> you can, you can Yo, if that me. was my mentor, I'd, I'd be at his yard every day just to learn from this guy, and see Cassie at the same time. But anyways, I have. A, uh, I don't think I really want to be around Diddy every day. I've heard a lot of stories crazy. about Diddy, man. Why well, want to go to a man's yard so they can pre on his king? <laughs> <laughs> That's just hypothetical sure shit. Like off, man. Man. Um, like Don't invite this nigga to my yard. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> but um, what you call it? Who else was there? Scissor was there. There was no, a lot of people Abel. there. Abel. What? Uh, huh? What did, did you, you just say Abel to my rules? No, she said Abel. Oh, no, no. I said Abel. Oh. Big, just in case Scissor's oh, you're, listening. Oh, your Scissor. Yeah, so with the Obamas there. there. We got a thing. You got a thing with Scissor? No. Jeez. Alright, cool. I, she's I, she's I, a hard girl to control, <laughs> you know, after that control album, dog. I love crazy girls, bro. I know. Hey, cheers, alright. They got, they got the, the, um... You'll like the villain in Avengers when you see it then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> she's crazy. She's crazy. <laughs> she's crazy. No, because he said he likes Avengers. crazy shit. Yeah, not Avengers, sorry. Exactly. I'm Thor Ragnarok. Thor Ragnarok. Oh, Thor, Thor Ragnarok. Ragnarok. The villain the of that. Yeah, yeah. In that? Yeah. Thor yeah. Ragnarok. Yeah, about strong bitch? Yeah, sorry, I just realized who the villain in <laughs> Avengers <laughs> was. <laughs> but she's white. So. With his easy chin. Yeah, <laughs> 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 oh, God. What? Wait, what do you say? What? Uh, uh, Tell me what he says. You're making trouble again. <laughs> nah, it's cool. <laughs> I can't wait to see this yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 tell, yeah, me yeah. What he, tell me what he says later. Um, Baby no. looking like a spice. Mm-hmm. She's Charles. spicy, yeah? Charles. Um, who else was in there? Obviously, I think J-Lo apparently was there. Oh, J-Lo's dress was so beautiful. I didn't see that. What is wrong with you? But, you know, I just wanted to take her home. Man. I wanted to take her out my Instagram. Big up A-Rod, you know. A-Rod right trapped there. back. I need to show A-Rod. you a picture yeah. of her. She's looked the most... Um, I didn't see much of this. Yeah. this uh, yeah. Kim, K- Kim K was... Yeah, Kim K was... I seen K. it. She looked nice. Yeah, was the best. Yeah. Um, Cardi she was there. I saw Kim. I thought Kim looked good. I saw Kim and Rihanna. Rihanna won it. Yeah, Rihanna always wins, apparently, like the Met. Like, when she's invited, everyone just wants to look what, she, what she's gonna wear. Rihanna's right? a she's G, crazy. man. I met Rihanna Nikki last year, so. Right still. Yeah. Cardi B looks like, uncomfortable. She's crazy still. It looked nice, but I just want to chill. I, I would actually have liked to have a re- conversation with Rihanna just to see, like, I what's, really. like, I don't know. Because she's looked like, she yeah. has so yeah, much shit going on. Like, Puma, Fenty. She came across very real. Yeah, yeah she just comes just came, real. She came through, exactly. she's wearing a hoodie. Yeah. Yeah. She really don't give a fuck. She genuinely don't give a fuck. It was around that time when everyone was saying she was getting fat as well, so I was trying to see what she looked like, but she comes from wearing the baggy clothes. Do you remember last year that she went through a little phase where people were saying, yeah. I thought I just heard that yo, she's getting thickums still. Who's getting thickums? Rihanna. Rihanna. She is. <laughs> is that is, is it? She um marrying or is it she Arab dating brother. an Arab man? Yeah, saw that yeah, yeah. She apparently saw that. Where is Ramadan? I don't. I don't Ramadan. 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 Scissor. Scissor. Oh yeah, scissor. My time. What, who, 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 what else, man? What she's else? beautiful. She's what, sexy. What, else? what other celebrities, my guy? Who, who have I got? Oh yeah. What other oh, celebrities? Janae Eco you know? is my type. Can you see this artsy, Janae crazy Eco. girls? Yeah, yeah. Who, who you, who you know, no, they're crazy Janae in real life. Suck a soul out of man. You know she's done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sean, yeah. You know? Janae Eco. I love her. I mean, I'll see her live. Yeah. Um, she's so yeah. pain. Man. Sweater. Yeah. Oh, okay. But yeah, Janae. Janae can suck a man. If I think of someone else that I love, like. Because I know there's someone else, but I, I just can't think of anyone. I can't think of many. Off, off top right now. I don't know, my brain always freezes when it comes to this topic. It's just because you've got too many Insta hosts. I've got hosts. too many. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Count- countless. has so many Insta hosts oh, that he exposed, stop. like, during his first episode. Do you have a recommendation for this week? Like, for this week? Yeah. Yeah, yeah actually. I actually do, but she's a lighty. But, again, 
It's not what I don't really to. care. Who is she? No, 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 no. Yeah, we're not doing. Her name is today, Kelly. So. Her name is Kelly. This one. True. Like, Brown skin dog. Kelly Stack something yeah. something something. My phone's dead. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Okay, Shout out to Kelly Stack something up. something something. Who is this? Go on, ten. Kelly Stack. Kelly Stack. What? Nah, there's hey, who remembers Cat Stacks, fam? Cat Stacks, we're not going to talk about Cat Stacks. Why are we talking about dead things? Wow. Stop. I didn't know we were talking about dead things. Okay. Listen, um, man, let's show you this I wonder thing. what happened to her. She yeah, holds a lot of hip hop. She's probably in jail. Nah, Apparently she went I, don't, I don't know, man. I, I want her to write a book like Superhead did, man. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. That would be interesting. That, I wouldn't read it, though. I'm really not Actually, sure. speaking of books. <laughs> speaking I'd of read books, the blurb. That's all I'd do. Did you read Superhead's book? I'd read the... Who? Superhead. Nope. <laughs> That's what I'm like. Uh, <laughs> I, wanted to I wanted to write a book, but I'm not going to read it. Yeah, trust me. I just wanted to do well in life. I know, right? Yeah. Like Speaking a career's advisor. I feel I'm, you. Listen, man. Yeah. Right? Speaking of books, by the way, um, Issa Rae, she's no. been on the socials nowadays uh, for a few last that. few. Yeah. Last <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look at his face. Because he knows. Because <laughs> I got sent, I didn't even know this. I got, actually got sent the, the page. <laughs> okay. I was like, why are you sending me? Oh, wait, is this when she was like talking about how black women should date Asian men? But she already discriminated. <laughs> she said, not, Filipinos. not, yeah, not. <laughs> she, she, Bottom she of the barrel. She put aside Filipinos. Bottom she put aside Filipinos. Is that you? <laughs> <laughs> Filipinos. Why, 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 why? She said Filipinos are the blacks of Asia. <laughs> So, so what? I was like, oh, I'm erased. I, I don't like that. I don't like that narrative at all. Exactly, but, right? Because <laughs> room for being the right. fucking black. Exactly, that's what the fuck I'm saying. So straight away is like, it's like saying you're the shit of whatever that. Right? There's two yeah. perspectives. Do you know what I'm saying? That's, that's what the fuck? That's what the bugs me about that or shit. Or the coolest. Or the coolest. Mm. I mean, Blacks are cool. Yeah, yeah but. That is one of the main reasons why they hate us. Our culture but is she, really she, cool, you know? But anyway, let's move on. Yeah. I felt like she was just being like, Yeah, fuck that bitch. <laughs> no, 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 I would like to have a conversation with her. I actually do an interview with her. So, she's alright. Yeah, either way, she... I like she, Insecure too. In she fucked up. I don't like, like what she no, said. No, about I don't fuck with what she said either because I was like... Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, no, the blacks of Asia. No, but, um, basically, it's a, it's a book on... Uh, this is only a page of her book. I don't apparently. think it's her book. Is it her book? I, I, I don't I know. Doubt it would I doubt It's only a book. Really? It's her book. And she's preaching that shit. And it's only a page that I got sent. Uh... So apparently there's more, there's more in depth of the conversation that she's trying to say. <laughs> but um, this what she said about if I can get the wording correctly on, on this just because she's saying about educated black women are too high maintenance, high strong and independent. They don't need men. So what's he telling me? What's that? What's that? This is th- this is Easter Ray's book on commenting about. Uh, Black it's women date Asian men. on behalf of all black women. She said, what did what? she say? Can you please read that again, please? I'm Appreciate so sorry. That. I missed that. Yeah, yeah, I want to know why she's cancelled. Please, go on. <laughs> she, she's, this is a part of her book. She says, uh, educated black women are too high maintenance, high strong and independent. They don't need men. Uh, they, oh shit. There are a wide, a widening gap between the education of black women and men, which doesn't leave a very suitable suitors. Well, look, it's not a secret that fucking they're trying to fucking break up the black home. <laughs> so, do you know what I'm saying? And the black family. Talk the thing, brother. Do you know what I'm saying? So, it's and it's not fucking a shadow government. Fuck black niggas, man. Shadow government. Black niggas, shadow government. Black black government. Black shadow so I'm saying, we are not in a world that's designed for the black man. You're not trying to fucking marginalize us. They don't exactly. want to see no more black little boys no more. Exactly. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, what? So, they don't want to see no more black boys no <laughs> more. Oh. Do you know what I'm saying? So... They give okay. black women more opportunities. So I'm gonna stop. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> okay, let me just re- let me read the page for you and then. Look, I'm so okay. sorry. I'm it's all right. It's all right. Uh, I just wanted to see your reaction after that first passage because when I read that, I was like, Ooh, I don't know what men <laughs> are gonna say to this. I mean, that one alone is going ahead. Yeah. Do you know what? Do you know? Do you know what's funny? Just from you saying that she's she's recommended Asian men mm. for black women. Okay, that's fine. What? I'm so sorry. No, that's the pre- that, l- l- Listen, that, that's but then, when you, when you said, I, I knew she was going to start talking smack when you said about, she said, but not Filipinos because they're the black of yeah, Asia. Yeah, yeah. So that was already loaded, like saying, yeah. fuck blacks. That's what I heard. So yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what I'm okay. All I heard from her, that was <laughs> like, fuck that's the a, blacks. That's a fair statement. That's a fair statement. <laughs> so I knew okay. she was going to okay. fucking start yeah, running off. That's a fair statement. So uh, then she continues, unfortunately, the higher one's degree as a black woman, the lower your chances are at fine. Or, or to get married. Uh, add on to the con pile of stereotypes of being loud, complicated, and difficult. Black women, you... Oh, your represent... Yeah, reputation sucks. Your, rep... 
black women's reputation sucks. sucks. Wow. Uh, Asian men are also overburdened with racial stereotypes that don't really work in their favor. Now, I agree with that. Mm-hmm. As an Asian person myself, I, I, I agree notice. with that specific statement just because of the stereotypes we have in general. Mm-hmm. Whether it be we're smart, good at math, <laughs> so forth. Oh, yeah. we do, oh or we look at oh uh, we look like Chinese people, all that shit. Mm-hmm. So that stereotype, like flip, or I don't know if you guys know the slang called flip. Oh, name. is that when we was in the park and you educated? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know if you saw that, that, that term. The term being used, flip, that was, was used. No. Uh, fuck little, uh, yeah, fuck little island person. So that's what flip meant. It's very creative. Who the fuck's got time for that? I know. I said to him. That was that term being used. It doesn't even sound offensive, offensive, does it? I want to. Yeah, but that was a term used of endearment, like to. Same how the N word is used to you guys. Yeah. Right. That was a, a mm-hmm. word, another thing used, yeah. another yeah. word used. So I understand her stance on that little just sentence. So I understand that completely. I understand that too. Um, why That's wouldn't w- kind of. why wouldn't women want to marry and reproduce with men who are classified as intelligent, hard workers? Maybe because Asian men are frequently uh, emasculated in huh? uh, social media. Huh? So Asian men are emasculated. This bitch then went and got some fucking Asian Can we dick. Can we do that again? We do that again. She's trying to shit on us. Like, yeah. it's, it's, who's this it's, one it's, Asian it's man right. that she's trying to it's impress, fam? It's all right. Fam, she's got this one no, Asian man in her life. She's a billionaire that she's trying to impress. Let me read it again then. He's writing articles. Let me read it. Yo, big up Donnie, though. Go on. He put it down. He put it down. He put it down. He put it down. He's getting frustrated. Go on. Why, why wouldn't Asian men want to marry and reproduce with men who are classified as intelligent, hard workers? Maybe because Asian men are frequently emasculated, yeah, emasculated, sorry, mm. um, in the media, especially in social media, uh, or presented as sexless props uh, for com- comedic relief. Well, I kind of understand that specific I sense. I yeah, back in the day it was like that. Um, there are a lot of Asian comedians who... Mm. Use that as content. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, as an example, uh, uh, Big Norm, who's a mm-hmm. very famous uh, Filipino uh, comedian in Toronto, he, he uses that to a certain extent um, as his, as his actual material, which mm-hmm. is fine because I've, I've just watched <laughs> him talk and listening to him talk. He's a freaking comedian, like mm-hmm. th- that's fine. Mm-hmm. So I understand that one. Uh, where am I? Oh. Oh, if they only could absorb the burden of black male stereotypes, genitalia, <laughs> genitalia exaggerations included, maybe their demand would increase. I want to know your feelings about that. I, I, I'm trying to understand what her objective is. Like, bro, what what's she, she trying? Some to, random black man pissed her off. No, she's trying to take it out on all of us. What's, going, what's she trying to do here? Is she trying to big up Asian men here? I don't understand. Yes. What reading yes. Here. Yeah, they, so she's fighting no I didn't she's basically didn't. saying it's smart it's a smart move for black women to start dating Asian men because in society they're the two that's left out you know what I'm saying in, because in, in studies, black men yes. are running off and dating other races right Right. and basically um, it's either that or they're not smart enough they, they find black women intimidating educated black women black men apparently find Educated black women intimidating and Asian men. I'm just, disappointed. I'm baffled because from what you read, the passage of it genuinely seems <laughs> genuinely <laughs> seems as though she's taking the negative stereotypes about black men and saying, "Yeah, there's these negative stereotypes and that doesn't work," and taking the positive stereotypes about Asian guys and being like, "So that's what we have already." So she's basing it off stereotypes. Yeah. How the fuck you got to do all that? Mm. Facts. Okay. It's a stereotype. Maybe that would make... (laughs) 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 Just to continue the passage, uh, maybe that would make all the difference. Instead, instead the plight of Asian men is nearly the same as of black women, except for the fact that that their women tend to marry white or other. Uh, I'm assuming she's saying Asian men tend to date within their race or? when did she write this I'm, I'm not sure this is a status on Instagram I'm not sure. in her it's book it's in a book, book. It's it's an entire, this is an entire page, page of the book that I want to I want to discuss oh you're going to yeah, yeah. Um, that little part I'm not too sure what she's trying to say um, in fact Asian Americans have the highest rate of in intermarriage uh, Asian men your reputation sucks too okay 
Um, this is why I propose black women and Asian men join forces in love, marriage, and procreation. Educated black women, what, what better intellectual, in, 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 yeah, intellectual match for you than an Asian man? And I'm not talking about Filipinos. They are like the blacks of Asia. Now let me get <laughs> the other picture that I found from Tendai's post to continue this because I did not find this until you posted it because uh, that's I wanted to read more into the actual page just because I was confused on the, after that comment I was like so you're erasing you're erasing us because we are the blacks of Asia that doesn't really make much it's sense just her and pretty much in every single notion of what she said that you've read out seems like she's wilding yeah and she then wilding like to a continue to continue that part uh, I'm talking about yeah, I'm talking Chinese, Vietnamese, Japanese, etc. According to a 2010 census, Koreans are more inclined to marry black than any other Asian group. So black women after college, maybe it's a good idea to settle in Los Angeles or anywhere else where Korean, oh, where there's a Korea town is a hotspot. Now, I don't want to read the rest because it's continuing to another Thank page of the book. God. You're not going to read no more of that shit. <laughs> right. but, but when right. I read this, when I read, I was, just, I was just reading it and I was confused because obviously there are all loyal men anywhere regardless of any race. Right? There's loyal men regardless of any race. So I think this is a way of discriminating a specific type of man. But she's trying to put race into it for no for some random reason. She's cancelled, isn't it? This, yeah. this is really weird for me. Like I, I like how she. I understand up Asian why because you're, you're an Asian so man yeah, right now. Like, it's your time to shine. It's your time yeah, to shine. No, 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 it's not even my time to shine. <laughs> but he's Filipino. No, no, but he's Filipino. No, he's, Filipino. No, no, no. he's Filipino. So it's not his time to shine. No, it's not my shine. He's, it's with, us, shine. he's with us, bro. He's with us. He's with us. He's with us. It's not even my shine. It's not my shine. I'm not involved. Oh shit! I'm not involved. If the, if you're assuming me to be Chinese, I'm not involved, like, uh, at all. No. I, I'm just confused oh, on what she's trying to actually portray. She's basically, uh, basically, I mean? she's trying to... Because she's, she say, she's saying, just go for Asian men. She's dating and an I'm Asian like, man and she's trying to convince Asian men are, else to do it. Not all Asian men are goody two shoes they're not all smart they're like, not yeah they're exactly. bare hood mans that are asian so i, know, I don't bro. know what's going on like we said someone's from the hood doesn't mean they're not smart exactly. you should go and date my friend chong yeah that's true and see how he fucking treats that's her true. stupid oh. <laughs> i'm saying you should go and date my friend chong and see how he fucking treats her can you imagine chong is listening, listening to this i let him listen Shut up, chong. <laughs> he's, chong he's, <laughs> he's good that's my homie bro but but yeah that it, it, that whole i just wanted to hear you guys after hearing that just because I just think this bitch didn't deserve that much hair time, but I'm just gonna stay. <laughs> and the, 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 that's the thing. That's the thing, right? <laughs> Jay Faves like that one. Exactly. No, 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 no. Exactly. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. That's the best sentiment you could have put down. Like, mm. Perfect. <laughs> but Lauren Hill, though. I was going, remember we were talking about nice women. Nice for what? Oh, they, they, remember yeah, we were talking yeah, about yeah, women. I was going to mention that I used to have a really big crush on Lauren Hill. Oh, that yeah. was one of my... Not Lauren Hill. Yeah, I did the dreadlocks and... Oh, yeah, 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 I love yeah, it. Shout out Lauren Hill, man. Yeah. Lauren Hill was fire. Fam. He took the sample. It's an example. Yeah, yeah. I read oh, a meme, yeah. yeah? I read a meme, yeah, that says, fucking, if you think Drake made this song... No, if your girl thinks Drake made this, made this song, she's too young for you. <laughs> <laughs> Where is that from? A meme. A meme. Yeah. Oh, That's, okay. I mean, it's true though. Still. Yeah. yeah, but he sure. like he could have done better. He could have done a better older, job. It's older than Lauren Hill too. There so. was another one that I read as oh. well. The the sample is from X Factor. Is original. Yeah. No, Hill song. there's a there's another sample apparently on the song on the song. I don't know. Yeah, I don't there know. Is, there is another sample. Yeah, yeah from the song. Is this, is this oh, like it's a bounce, go-go sound? It's bounce. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's bounce music, so it's definitely a sample. But <laughs> yeah. I, th- I feel like with the Lauryn Hill sample, they could have done a better fucking job, fam. You think so? I'm ready for. I mean, genuinely. Like Cardi used the sample too, so there's. I don't On what that. song? I the the whole nice for what thing? Is it nice for? Be careful with me. Uh, oh, is that a, is that a, um? That's a Lauryn Hill sample. It's a Lauryn Hill sample. Oh. Careful, be careful. From from, from, from the same song. Yeah, yeah. From the same oh, song. Yeah. But Drake. Got the better use that. Better. As he does. Yeah. Drake used the better. I didn't hear. He I didn't hear that. Better. Better. Yeah. He does. He got his. Okay. You, did you like the Cardi album? I haven't. Um, I love the intro. The, the intro, intro was Meek Millish. It was Meek Millish. Meek Millish. And um, I like um, that Free Six Mafia 
redo that she did of yeah. that's chicken oh. head song. Oh. And then she called it Bicken Head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was you know, you know the original Chicken Head. I think so. I have to. Li- I have to Three Six Mafia. I've been I've been seeing a lot of people bring up Three Six Mafia recently, man. It's just because they get, they're, they're getting a lot of shine now. It's like ooh, ooh, Chicken Head. Ooh, ooh, chicken, Chicken. The original is even better. It's, it's it's still you you play the original now, now. and you still. It's same with the, the same. It's same with that song. Uh, stop, I'm not. Uh, yeah. uh, because mm, 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 mm. um, what you call Juicy J again? remixed it on the No Limit remix. <laughs> he, oh, yeah. When he said like, uh, what was it? Uh, slap on my now, going on a cup. Ah, uh, uh, bitch, mm. like China did rap. Yeah, that was good. That was a good one. I don't know that song, but I like that song. Be careful, man. I like it. I like Card Cardi. I like her. Yeah. yeah. Do you think? Do you think cool. she's gonna? She's gonna last? No. No. She's already nah. won. That's Last yeah. Point she, doesn't she doesn't need to. She doesn't need to last. She She's about to have a kid, bro. So, so. Like, you have to understand like something, bro. Yeah, like, like, well. like nowadays, fam, one album, two albums, three. Like you three really albums yeah. is like longevity. You know, it really is. Yeah. Think of it. I think, especially in the age of fucking viral shit, mm. she had a big ass. Boy, that kettle was huge. Mm. It was a big yeah. motherfucker, and she remained relevant. Even when it faded out, mm. oh, and okay. she's still out here doing impressive mm. shit, and I'm like, okay, but listen, like there are niggas out here fucking e- eating off one hit song that they made really years is. ago. Yeah, really do you know what I'm really saying? Well. She's got like two, three, yeah. four. She's made, she's mm. one. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? Uh, do you guys for Lizzy? Do you guys yeah. listen to podcasts? By the way, mm. which one? Yeah, just any podcast. I, I listen. Yeah. To yeah. yeah, which one? To a few. Joe Biden's my Yeah, favorite. thank you for saying that. Put Just because I was going to say... Drink Chance. Huh? Michael and Drink Chance. Michael Rappaport. Rappaport. Yeah, Michael Rappaport. Joe Rogan. Joe, Joe Rogan. Rogan. I need to watch... Coca Vision. There's a lot. I listen to, I listen to about like 30, so... I'm I'm loyal to the Joe Biden one. No, because if I give you a list, yeah, of Yeah, go on. But as... Just because you were talking about... um, We were talking about Cardi. Because they brought up... um, Obviously, when men sing black... Bodak Yellow mm-hmm. and a club or whatever they sing long lyrics and so forth. Mm-hmm. They said, "Is there one girl song that you get caught like when you you, you sing? You just feel like, why am I singing this song?" I'm not gonna lie, it, you know, I, I mean? get caught. I find myself singing a lot of few Beyonce songs. Play no, no. Uh, let play me be in the club and, I'm gonna get, and I'm no gonna scrubs. Scrubs, yeah, are you, scrubs. Are you stupid? Play, uh, I know. No scrubs, yeah. yeah. No, no, no scrubs, scrubs, word for word. Are you stupid? What? Or any of these 90s R&B singers? Any of that 90s I think everybody. SWV, we? Yeah, Lauren Hill. Yeah, oh, SWV, oh my God. Goodness. 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 Every cup I do, shut up. I sing mm. her to death. <laughs> what? But sorry, I'm, 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 a, I'm just a fan of the war. Erica Badu. <laughs> Erica Badu, you know. Yeah. Queen I Erica. But Erica's songs don't necessarily feel well. Yeah. Uh, Feel like they're from a right, gender's point really of view. Yeah. Mm. Like, ah, okay. On and on, she's she's not yeah, she's not just culture-y. she's not like on some baby baby I love you. She's a soldier. She is actually. Tyrone, Tyrone's like the best. Like, I got, I'm getting a, a yeah. girl to cover that now. And, yeah. And, and it's so fun to make. I'm really Tyrone's dope. Mm. It's the best shit. But on, on and on's obviously my. But yeah. Like, but yeah, I'm just give a, I'm just give a big ass <laughs> list of podcasts I listen to because you want to. Wait, you didn't answer your own question. What song do you find yourself singing? Put it on a link, innit? My link. Yeah. I'm, I'm listen. I'm, I'm giving you the shows now. I mean, how many listens do you uh, listen to no in one, a podcast nothing, average? Not a TV on my phone. No, so that's money on hold. No, <laughs> he's asking you a question. A- average. Uh, how many podcasts everybody listens to? Oh, I don't know. About four. Four. About four or five. Four, I don't even five, have time, man. Two, three, three. two, three, two, three. One, two. One, one, two. Mm. Tendai. Mm. What? How many podcasts you listen to? None. None. <laughs> that's fine. That's a sick answer. Uh, so I have time. I, that's what I said. I ain't like, got time. I have to sit there and listen. That, that's I usually fine. do it like, when I'm like, driving. Listen that's to all of it. Like, it's only one podcast sleep, that I listen so to I every really time. Catch, it, Joe Budden. And that's the Joe Budden one. Joe Budden. Yeah. To be honest, a lot of people start with Joe Budden. A lot of people start when it comes to podcasts. Joe Budden, uh, uh, the Joe Rogan. Is Dream Champs the podcast? Yeah, yeah, Champs is also a podcast. Yeah, that's 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 another one. But there's a bear. They've gone quiet a bit, innit? Yeah. yeah. No, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't listened to much. I haven't, listened I haven't much. seen much of them shit popping up. Um, so three shots of tequila. Mm-hmm. I watched, oh, that one's dope. Yeah, mm-hmm. I listened to that. Lip service from Angela Yee. Is she still doing that? Yeah, she's still. She, she's, that I used to listen to that one years ago. Exactly. Yeah, it's yes. it's still going. I'm it's hard. About, like, is it? it gets it gets they they put a better um structure on it as 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 the podcast went through. Mm. Um, blacklisted UK still listened to that recently. Um. Black Girl Podcast, shout out to Scotty Beam. Um, That's Bodega DJ's Boys. Queen. 
Yes, huh? Bodega Boy is goat. No, that's from that's a friend of mine's queen. He loves Scotty Beam. Oh, so <laughs> what type DJ? Be? What yeah. type the Rebel King? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Bodega Boys, This is a Marrow, Comedy Trap House, uh, from the Dorm 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 Tainment Dorm Tainment. Sorry. Uh, guys from niggas YouTube. Oh my fucking yeah, they're guys. <laughs> <are funny. laughs> These niggas used to do YouTube skits when YouTube skits was popping. Yeah, mm. they were they were one of the Ooh. first guys. Uh, Dormtainment. So these Dormtainment like collective, little collective on YouTube that do um that did funny skits, funny skits for like mm. maybe a few years and then they're popping and then they made the podcast as well and got popping <laughs> there. Um, extra gravy. Shout out to Marlon. Um, and Big Norm as well. He's on there. Free good. Shout out to Jay Fiasco. Uh, who is also the creator of Galcast from back in the day? Very popular um, mm-hmm. podcast. Actually, one of the first female podcasts. All cast of females. They just told Grease. It was very popular. A lot of people there apparently knew Drake. And I was like, okay. <laughs> That's how they got on their albums. Um, they need to be cutting you a check or this plugging you're doing. I know. Right? I know. That's but this, the thing is, the they're all free. Wait, why are you promoting the competition, bro? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, because I listen. To, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of podcasts. Saying, why are you promoting <laughs> the, the competition? competition? <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I'm, a, I'm just Advertise a fan. Advertise your own block first. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm, just, I'm just a fan. I don't care. Oh, I don't man. care as much. I, I'm just a fan of podcasts. So I listen yeah. to them almost every day when I'm work. I listen to about three. Okay. I listen to about three almost every day at work. Okay, so. now that's that's cool, though. So it's a big, bigger podcast culture. Yeah, it's a really big culture, especially in the UK that's coming now um, Half Cast Podcast Chucky and uh, Poets Corner I tried listening to them today about um, the Kanye thing and they were yeah about I need to listen whole, to the recent how episode how he's mentally ill and stuff um, oh, Have oh, Several sh- Seats um, that's another UK one Have Several Seats he is mentally ill um, shout out to Wumi um, I Am Rappaport shout out to James <laughs> for putting me on there Rappaport Podcast um, Just Two Boys uh, shout out to Just Rain Let Me Talk My Sh which is actually the actual name of that podcast, which <laughs> really freaked me out. But shout out to Rich Kid, man. Remix Project. You don't know. Uh, Meet Us at Seven. That's a UK one. Relationship. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. That's more that. YouTube. but That uh, is the dopest I, yo, one. If you ever oh. decide to make a popping, podcast, still, that would yeah. actually I hear that's popping. Relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Relationship. I, yeah. 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 I hear it's about yeah. relationship, though. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Has everyone been on the episode yet? <laughs> Have you man been no. on an episode yet? No. I know three. Yeah, kind of, kind of, kind of tricked me yeah, into doing a few man's been on an episode still. Right. Okay, they did. Bamboozle. I went there. I volunteered. Yeah, Rap Radar before they went to Tidal. Don't worry, we'll get interesting, don't worry. Who, me? I'm Halal, don't worry. Jesus Why lie? I am Halal. Listen, Ramadan's coming up. Ramadan's coming up. Cook still a minute. Allah oh, Akbar, yeah, 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 yeah. isn't it? <laughs> Ramadan's coming up. Oh, still. it said, might say haram until Ramadan come. Not even that. But now the thing said. Don't watch him. Let's, Jesus Christ. <laughs> let's wait for Ramadan to finish um, first. Isn't it? Reggie Yates podcast, Talk Stew, listen to that. Road Tripping, uh, Talk Up. You must not watch no TV. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to say. <laughs> I, I watch Netflix. That's but are you going to read the whole list of 30 podcasts that you watch? Nah. Just put it on the I just want to big up. Uh, actually, this is my last I'm one. Sorry. The Receipts. Okay. Say it again. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the Receipts podcast. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like another. That, I've heard of that. Yeah. That's um, mainly the women. Made by uh, Taser Black who did who does um three shots. Right. Right. He, right. He, he, this one's actually like more about... um. It's a women's point of view on a lot of things. Yeah. So whether it be relationships, politics, uh, all that so forth. Yeah. Which is really actually really good. Um, they do hmm. a segment where uh, they take emails of uh, people having relationship problems and so forth, have their own views, various other things. So it's really good. It's yeah. really good. But um, yeah, that's, that's, oh, that's, that's just that. a glimpse of what I listen to. So. I, I want to big up that free shots of tequila again now. Yeah, yeah, they're doing big things. You know? Big up my Zim brother, man, like Keith Dube. Oh, Mr. Exposed? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mr. I thought he was... Oh, he's okay. Mr. Exposed from, from Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Yeah. Oh, okay, sick. Really? Yeah, sick, yeah, sick. Well, yeah but those well, those guys have been doing stick, bits yeah. for time. And they don't even release... They don't even show that they have guests until you literally look at the description and say which guests they have. That's mm. Like, you, you you listen to just three of them and then they, you hear that random voice. And mm. I'm just like, who the fuck is this? So I have to look at the description. Like, who's the guest? Mm. Like, they had um, Marks. You know who marks the mm. pen game? Of course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mash Town. Mash Town, yeah. <laughs> he they, he was on there. He was on there, but I was just like, what the fuck is that? And then I had to check, like, is that actually marks? Yeah. And that I was, was like, oh, okay, fair enough. And then, man. um, who else was on there? I don't know if that Castillo, dude? Castillo. Yeah. Castillo? That's funny. Yeah, He's that, hilarious. Yeah, he was on there as well. <laughs> 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 when I was, because I was like, yeah. I only know him from Instagram, innit? 
because of what he says on Instagram. Wait, which is that? What's going on with his hair, though? I know. I don't know what he's doing with that. Is it a weave? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> he said, is it a weave? I don't need to say oh, his it. gold teeth are serious. Jesus Christ. He's, he's funny. He's, he's funny. He's funny as fuck. I, I, I love his, his thinking. I love his comedy. Yeah. So his humor and everything. Yeah, his comedy is funny. But, he, but he's, the hair is just a bit random. Yeah. Yeah, he, it's unbelievable. He's, he's got an episode on there. <laughs> unbelievable. Unbelievable. I can't, I can't let that one slide. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Are no. we changing the title? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, I might have to, we have the best to, rapper alive. We have to, we right. have to, we have to, we have to have a talk before after this. Uh, unbelievable. These titles are going too much. That just reminded me of Bugs Bunny. Yeah, we so. got like three titles. <laughs> unbelievable. We got two, three titles right now. Um, but yeah, like. He was on there recently on a, like a few, few like two months ago or something. He was on an episode. And the way this man speaks is funny. I don't know. Uh, the Castillo Cat? I don't know what it is. Uh, the Castillo Cat is just funny. But yeah, that's um, just another glimpse of what I listen to anyway. Mm. Um, Have you got Kanye West on your um, list of discussion? Because we got to talk about Kanye. Mm. <sighs> Absolutely. It's, you got to discuss Kanye, man, after the show. Oh, I want, yeah, I would like to hear what's your opinion on because The, the, yeah, the, re- your show, the reason us. why I wanted to skip Kanye to a certain extent okay. is because we already talked about him last week, for one. Did you? We talked about him at, at when I bumped into you last weekend. Did you have any Gemini's when, when you talked about him? Mm. I don't know. I don't think so. Mm. I mean, what's Game it, changer. What's, what's, what's... <laughs> okay, okay. Let's just bring it up since we get... Well, yeah, tell us... Tell the people. Wait. Tell the world your... My view. Yeah, Kanye, your views on... Because um, I'm an outsider. Yeah, How? and it's your show. I'm, I'm not black, dude. No, you are. You're, you're Filipino, bro. You're, 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 you're within black. the culture, you bro. You're plus li- Issa Rae said you was black, fam. You know what I'm saying? You're the black of Issa said that Come shit. On, fam. Shit, right? are we taking that? Are we going to follow her? Um, um, a slavery choice in, in the Philippines. Slavery. <laughs> 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 oh, you don't, didn't even get the, op- the option. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we didn't even get to choose. Oh, snap. It wasn't even presented. <laughs> There was an option? <laughs> Dad. Yeah, they just got left out. It was on the back of the permission slip. They didn't see that shit. <laughs> like, their money would have been, like, more than in the house, niggas. Their money would have been, like, in the intersectum of the house. Right. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, so there was an they were, forget the house niggas, they was foundation niggas, man. Oh my god, you know like in Game of Thrones, you know that room that they do that Oh <laughs> shadow government stuff. <laughs> when they do the shadow government rituals, oh, you know, you know we're allowed in that room. <laughs> the, ser- the servants that get to go, to the- you were serve- you you lot got to serve the the, the, the people at the Met Gala. Oh, oh yeah, goodness, man. Oh, he's- Anyways, yeah. you got a bonus for that slavery. Oh, I gotta take my ghost. Oh, at the end of the year, oh, you like mess people oh, alone, please, and let him talk, please. But, uh, um, my view on Kanye, I know he's crazy. And yeah, because I've I've been reading his Twitter book, so it's it's hard for me it's hard for me to digest when I heard when I watched the the mm. the TMZ interview. Did you watch the foot? Do what did you watch? Seven minutes or the whole thirty minute clip? I've I've watched a little extended version. I haven't watched the full thirty minutes. What did he say in that interview? Well, then you can't. That was off. Um, when he said slavery was a choice, you didn't. The whole. Bring it up. Quote it. I never, no. He never said that. No, but wait, wait. on the on the thing, on the he yeah. never said slavery was a choice. That, well, he, he kind of did. He kind of did. He did, but like he implied. He never, but that's the but that's it. not what he implied. Yeah, his implication. No, he did. Fuck it. He, he never did, said the word was. slavery was no. a choice. That's true. Well, he did, he, but he did. No, but he no, was no, saying so, he his implication. First, he said you hear about slavery for four hundred years. Yeah, mm. that sounds like a choice. choice. Mm. Yes, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry if I misquoted that. Yeah, but. I when I when, that was my first initial thought anyway, what he was saying, but I, I during that time when he Van Van Latham um, mm. spoke out, I think that's when he was like, oh shit, okay. He wasn't. No, but no, no, no. He his um, the words he used were kind of used loosely. Of what he was trying to describe, because because he he's he was very making... meticulous, Kanye. He's, he's a bit scatty. Yeah, I know it. He's I think hard. I he think but he's, he's deep. Said, because uh, has everyone watched the Charlemagne the one as well? Bro. Not all of it. No, I ain't got an hour and a half. So let's just go in. Yeah. Go ahead, please. Go in. Go in. Go in. Go in. Go in. Go in. Let me hear. Go in. Go in. Uh, Kanye did something major, 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 major. Um, 
first of all, he didn't say slavery was a choice. Mm-hmm. I like what he said because he said, you hear about slavery for 400 years, that sounds like a choice. But rewind, what? Slavery for. How long was slavery in America? How long did slavery last in America? Do you know? About 500 and counting. Yeah. It, it lasted for 200 years, not 400. But you always hear about slavery for 400 years, yeah? Mm-hmm. Boom, yeah. dig this. From. When slavery started and until it ended, that was 200 years. Mm-hmm. But from when it ended until now, until 2018, <laughs> boom, there's your 400 years. Mm-hmm. Huh? Mm. Mm. Okay. Interesting. Because Kanye's message was about the mental slavery that we're in. Right now. Yeah, yeah, and he's yeah. basically talking about we're the enslaved right. the mi- the and mindset. we're choosing to be enslaved. Mm-hmm. And um, regardless, talking, right? People say that the guy is mentally ill. But how but, can he but, be in a position? It's like when you're dealing with messaging, bro, yeah, and, and getting messages across, yeah. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have to. You don't have to spoon feed people. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Do you know Thank what I'm saying? You. He's not a you, politician. You can kind of like give it to people like in a way that will trigger their mind. Because right mm-hmm. now, he's raised just the frequency of conversation. I don't know what people were talking about the week before that, mm-hmm. but it was probably talking about whether Kylie Jenner's baby is. Do you know what I'm saying? Something stupid. You know what I'm saying? So with Kanye, he's actually like got this whole. What did he say? He said we're enslaved right now. You have to think it because we got internet, right? Mm -hmm. You think this is like common information is everywhere, Mm -hmm. but on those platforms, Mm -hmm. it's not. You don't hear this where we're enslaved, Mm -hmm. where we're slaves to consumerism ever. Mm -hmm. Like he and another thing about Kanye, right? I mean, it's so beautiful he's all run what he's doing because it's a big part conquering fear is a big part of it mm-hmm. and that's his message mm-hmm. to not be afraid mm-hmm. right yep. so Kanye has been uh, has been warring with the media and he's walking into lampos the paparazzi is torturing mm-hmm. fucking up his life TMZ are the worst they right Charlemagne he's another big villain where mm-hmm. our celebrities are scared to face mm-hmm. up yeah. mm-hmm. Kanye did this he said this time round Kanye, uh, Charlemagne, come to my house. Mm. TMZ, on, fuck you lot man. hanging outside my door and my window. And mm. j- no, I'm yeah. coming into the valley. Yeah. You know when DJ's always talking about going to meet the people mm. in the valley where mm. he's fucked? Mm. He went right into the Gideon. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Of, 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 of the of media. You know what I'm saying? Horse type of shit. And, and the media, now, 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 when we speak of like, we're making jokes about shadow government and mm. shit like that, which, well, I don't know. Just the media is not everything, but like they have the most power mm-hmm. as far as engine. controlling the narrative, the narrative, okay. and the way the the, yeah. the, 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 the population's thinking, right? Mm-hmm. S- and TMZ and stuff like that, because mm. you, you so boom, this is all, it connects to everything that we we was talking about earlier when we was talking about Bill Cosby mm. and this black man. <clears throat> And, and being outspoken as a black man and what happens shortly. So I started speaking about Michael Jackson and Sony. So that whole story that I was saying about how he ended up, he he, he gave a speech and mm. baited him out and stuff like that. And, it was outsp- and then shortly after that, all these shit started coming out about him. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So, 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 so with, with Kanye, it, it, it's, it, that's, that is what happens. Like, oh yeah, he's a madman. That's what you do, you disc- discredit mm. him. In public, because then now they no longer have the voice. What the fuck is not giggling in the background for, B? Oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't realize. I was <laughs> Sorry, I didn't even laugh. I'm trying to be serious and talk about Kanye here. Sorry, come on. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but no, like, but the, the, Kanye mean, basically, like, what he did that he's um, never been done. It's like he, fl- he freed slaves, but not like the black ones, the white ones, like everybody. Mm-hmm. And what happens every time, right, when someone's speaking something mm-hmm. which is, um, some people don't want you to say, mm-hmm. right? You, you you take that information mm-hmm. and then you you, you twist it mm-hmm. and then you focus on the wrong bit. Now, because we know Kanye West, he's not necessarily the best person yeah. at explaining what he's trying to say. But motherfuckers know what the fuck Kanye's trying it's to say. Do mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? But what they do, they flip it and then they present it. And also black people are shook. Uh, no, they're not shook. Okay. They're very emotional and sensitive. Mm. And this is the biggest mm. weapon being used against them. Mm. And that's why when Kanye goes on those rants, they say, black people, stop focusing so much on racism. Mm. And this idea of racism mm. and slavery and this whole history mm. is keeping us down because when we get past that, um, self-esteem is everything. Mm. 
Do you know what I'm saying? So, so as far as f- black people being free, right? So basically, like you had the the the, they had to be freed by 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 uh, the white man or whatever. Mm. Abolitionist. Like and then and then they had to and then they had to fight the the civil rights mm. and then, the whites again had to change the rules because mm. they had the rules, and then now now the the laws is there. But this next stage, mm. there's like no one can't do it for us. So when Bob Marley's like, you have to Im-, now we're we're on mental slavery. Mm. And that Bob Marley said, none but ourselves can free our mind. Free the slave do you know what I'm saying? So the power is with us now. Mm-hmm. But what are the black people still doing? They're still getting mad at Donald Trump. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about Donald or anybody. Donald. You have everything now to do your thing. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? So the more you're over here thinking like, oh, we're oppressed. Yeah, we are. Uh, but there's no. we need to, the, the, the way out of that mm-hmm. is to, to not focus on that. So you think Kanye is trying to, exa- um, trying to word that? What you're trying to say is like we're trying to get out of that. Mentality. He doesn't like the word racism mm. and the focus on racism, and he doesn't like all these narratives about slavery. Mm-hmm. And he even like said it in the interview. I don't mm-hmm. like the word slavery. I like the word imprisonment mm-hmm. because what they do, they got these trigger words, right? Mm-hmm. Now these this stories that will forever be getting told. So you know, like, so now when you say slavery, you think about black people, but slavery has got nothing to do with race. Slavery is just someone else. That's what slavery is. Right? I know. Uh, please, pretty please I just want to see you down on your pretty knees Or maybe you could touch it. See where it leads. Go ahead, just beat it like you was Billy G. When he says prison, it brings blacks and white together as a people. And that's what he's trying to do to not focus on color so much based on, the, on what it does for, for people's self-esteem, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And the reason why he supports Donald <coughs> Trump is because Donald Trump... He doesn't even really support any of that. No, no, but, no, no, but, but like he, he likes... He, he likes he, him. He had, because yeah. when Kanye West says, I'm going to be them, I'm, I'm, I'm going to run for president, mm-hmm. before Donald Trump, yeah. it's a bit like, uh, okay, Kanye, but after that's Donald weird. Trump, that's it's weird. like anything's possible. Yeah, mm. I think. And, and that's it. Yeah, that, that, and I... Th- my point with the whole Kanye situation, just to briefly say it, is as much as Kanye is obviously a person who's not necessarily understood, I feel like he's a person who actually has sincere intent to make things better yeah. for not only black people, which obviously for him and the narrative that exists at the moment, mm. it's very fucking important to do that. It's for everyone. Mm. I feel like for him being, obviously, it's, I, I genuinely feel there's no doubt that he has certain mental health issues that he needs to kind of mm. deal with. Yeah. Because I feel like he has intentions that are very, very, obviously also sincere, but at the same time, something that's going to lead to a whole lot of shit that really should be done. Hmm. Also, all of us, we're living in a society, the society is suffering from mental health. The whole society, you know what I'm saying? (laughs) As a whole. And Kanye knows this. Mm -hmm. Kanye's bugging, and I understand someone like Kanye, see, see when when someone like Kanye is speaking, right? I, I can relate to this. Because it's like so much going on, so much information coming in Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that they don't actually get a chance. I don't get a chance to go into so deep. You take one thing that Kanye says and you go into it Mm -hmm. and then you understand how he's thinking. So during that interview, he said, here's the thing, um, uh, the, the the definition of, in, of of being insane or, or, or sa- insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. But while he's doing this, there's so much things going on that you don't even get to even explain what do you mean by that, Kanye? Mm-hmm. Kanye's trying to tell you, listen, for years, we've been singing, protesting every time mm-hmm. someone killed, killed, screaming racism. This has been going on forever. Mm-hmm. We're doing the same thing over and over again, mm-hmm. expecting different mm-hmm. results. I'm coming with a new approach. I know you don't get it right now, but I literally have to shake shit up and do something completely different. Mm-hmm. Now, if it's not what Kanye is doing, what 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 could what exactly. what, what other different thing is going to be doing? He's he's already been doing since he came out. He's been he's he's been um, doing his um his um activist. Yeah, he's, he's had the activist yeah. content. Since you know what I'm saying? The, the, the George Bush don't like black people. Yeah, and then and then now now mm-hmm. he's like he's got a different view, and he's like, you know what? We need to take a different approach. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? It's going to be interesting on what's going to happen though with with mm-hmm. um what the stuff he's to, he's. He's bringing to light. It's already it's already happened because yeah. it's like listen to the to, to, to the conversations that we're having right now. Exactly. You know, in America, yeah, mm. 
you know black people only vote for the same party every time mm -hmm. <clears throat> dig this now yeah cool. like even in england really black people tend to vote labor mm -hmm. so let's talk about england right yeah if all the black people are voting for labor why are black people voting because it doesn't make a difference to to the results. That's that's a good that's a good question. So that means that they don't have no power. Mm. Their voting power is just going to fucking waste. It's useless. Mm. It's useless. Right? And furthermore, are the are, are labels or whatever fucking who, who do they vote for in America? Oh, the Republic, Democrats. Democrats, yeah. yeah. Democrats. Are, are Democrats really like doing any, like really fixing shit in America for black people? No politicians are. You know what I'm saying? And can can you just understand the world differently? People are getting mad at him because he's saying that you can be a Republican, yeah. But can you understand? It doesn't fucking matter, fam. They're giving you an option: vote Satan or Satan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Like I'm like, that's, oh, that's 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 it. That's it. I'm like, who do you want to vote for? Uh, Chad or Cookie? <laughs> this time you're just voting for OTB either way <laughs> either way baby like you know what I'm saying but we need to give you this idea that you have an option so mm -hmm. so you, that way you don't rebel, rebel when you, you go along that's Kanye's that's not in the enslavement do you know what I'm saying yeah. that's the thing he's, 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 he's not afraid to sorry for my Kanye rant but nah, that's, cool. Cool. That's, that's, that's my bro still so, like I get him like, no, no, you know what I'm saying I have to the reason why it's a good it's a good rant is because not it was not a rant, like it was a visionary stream of consciousness. There you go. But no one no one thinks like that. He was. What? Yep. <laughs> but no one thinks like visionary that. Stream not, of not, every, not, not everyone thinks like that though. Not everyone articulates it to it's such an in depth and reason... whereas, you know, in that. But um why won't because you wanna finish and then I wanna get Chad's quick view. I just wanna I just wanna commend your standpoint because in what Kanye is doing and what he's trying to change, he's asking for an understanding of both sides to be there and i understand that sometimes the other side is too extreme for you to want to explain that but for you to understand each other you're going to have to put forth some form of you know like a medium yeah. or, or a mediator sorry in regards to just saying yo like this is the standpoint that we need to both agree that this standpoint exists and then just build outwards from that mm. so i feel yeah. like that's that's i 100%. guess the mentality and another thing but kanye also understands that there is no other side but mm -hmm. you can't just come out he's got to I know it sounds like Kanye's giving it to you all too much, yeah. but he can't come out and be like, guys, there's no other side. Mm -hmm. All you're voting for is the same, Motherfuckers again, same. Again, again. shadow same. government. Yeah. <laughs> right? It's a shadow government it's thing, exactly. fam. Yeah. Shadow government thing. So Dad, basically... You wanna, you wanna like, I mean, I don't have much else to add. I I get Kanye in it. People always look down on me. Not look down on me, but people always be like, hey, why are you always begging this guy? And it's just like, just... And I think... Luke just explained it all very well. Like, Truly. yeah, literally. It's really good though. He's it's it's just very interesting. How people are just quick to just knock new ideas every time when something someone just comes with something really fresh, mm -hmm. and then I don't know. I guess it's just fear of the unknown and it, mm -hmm. and people don't actually people don't actually look into the cryptics or look into the signs into behind what people are actually saying behind this new idea. Can you imagine? Like, I don't know. We we're talking about Twenty One Savage earlier. Like, I'm a big Twenty One Savage fan because yeah. I like listening to fuckery. <laughs> <laughs> you like that ignorant? I like that ignorant, ignorant shit. shit. Yeah. But how many people are really like going ham? And is the black community mad at Twenty One Savage? Like, just like I kill it's niggas, shoot shit, niggas. Da, da, da. So, it's so, so basically, like shit. Kanye says, slavery was a choice. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like it's almost it's almost like this idea of slavery is like now some badge of honor, you, like some some inferiority. Just, just a quick little question before we go to the songs of the week. Before we go, hmm. um, do you think that we as consumers of news media and so forth, do we have the tendency to you pick only certain words? Pick only certain words in conversation uh, when we hear something, cause, and then try to combine it. So, yeah. like as you saw, you said when Kanye didn't say trigger words. Yeah, trigger words. Mm -hmm. I, I, yeah, I said that, that earlier. That's do do we just use that unconsciously, and then everyone, someone just says, "Yo, somebody." They, yeah, but there are people who know about these trigger words and how to put them forward. Mm, yeah. True. Right. And how to kind of yeah. and how to keep. Um, uh, so basically, like you see, you see this idea of like it's about first of all clarity, right? Being able to think properly. But you see, when you're upset and angry, right? You don't, you can't think clearly, right? 
Do you think Kanye was angry at that time? No, I'm not talking about Kanye. Oh, no, but in general, that's why... Kanye's yeah. very frustrated. It's frustrating, yeah. you know. <laughs> this nigga yeah. does not like being a fucking celebrity. No. He no. really doesn't fucking like it. He just wants to make beats in the studio, bro. Yeah. yeah. Did you see the video? He was at 4 He just wants to make shoes and music, bro. 4 a.m. This nigga was being bugged <laughs> by paparazzi in front of his house, man. And he was like, yo, like, how else can you tell people? Have you seen what he's doing with par- paparazzi What's now? now? Wait, it's is amazing. It, uh, hi, how you doing? He's new. He's yeah. new. Oh. He's so amazing. Why are you saying hi? He's so brave. Listen to I get it, bro. You know sometimes, right? When when um, it's fucking amazing. Cause I, you know, when you're afraid, right? And then you get tired of being afraid. Yeah. You just, so yeah. you just go there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, like, I'm just gonna go to the club where those guys hang out, innit? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yes. Cause. I'm tired of living in fear, so now I'm just gonna. It's really, 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 really. I, really, 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 really I need brilliant. to. Sh- I need to show y'all that um Twitter thread I I read on by a guy called Snowden about all just it just yeah. explains it just explains like what Kanye's been doing and just yeah. about the whole accept not accepting the fear yeah. but like just yeah. just meeting it and just being like don't no, you you shouldn't be afraid just and just greet it with love man. yeah exactly because see see love yeah like like big and serious right and um. Uh, I used to have the uh, this 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 friend of mine years ago, and she used to always brag to me about how her, her granddad was like a grandmaster Freemason or whatever it is. So she 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 she'd be talking to me like we used to have a lot of deep combos, and she used to be like, um, "Black people don't know the answer because they're so angry." And they've been so suppressed and got to the point where we're like, fuck it, we're going to stand up and fight for ourselves now. Mm-hmm. But the trick is, the answer is love. Mm. Like, love you. I, and it's fucked. It really it's is. mad. You know what I'm saying? It's actually it's mad. mad. Because when Kanye says he loves Donald Trump, he's like, he's just a human being. I understand what he's mm. saying. Mm-hmm. And some of Donald Trump Trump's ideas are not that crazy. If you check, mm-hmm. check like, right, end of the day, like, I'm an in- immigrant in England. Mm. So when I say this, just know mm. that it's like, rah. But fam, do, do black Americans know that they're not immigrants, illegal immigrants in, in America? Do they know that? Are they aware <laughs> that if, if, if Donald Trump fucks off the immigrants, the black people cool. it, will, it, it will help the black people? <laughs> do they know that? Or have they been conditioned to think of themselves as immigrants? It's mad, that, isn't it? That's a good like, discussion to if have. If Donald and Trump builds a wall across Mexico, Africa. who gives a shit? That's a discussion to have. From that, that point of view, of course. Say, like, well, if, they get rid of, if, they, if they get rid of all the Mexicans, what would you say? They're not they getting rid of all the, the Mexicans. Anti- he wants to get rid of illegal the immigrants. The anti immigrant policy that he's pushing forward. So what are you trying to say? I, we don't want no immig- illegal immigrants coming over to Zimbabwe, bro. We keep this shit regulated, fam. I'm saying, you British people, get your visa, we let you in. But yeah, but. Yeah, it's, it's fine. It's business. It's go- well, exactly. If they, chuck off, if they chuck away all the fucking immigrants, they will kill off the blacks. Okay, this is the problem, okay? I'm educated. You don't okay. understand. Yeah, Everybody yeah, else is allowed I, to live. It's not us. No, it's not about <laughs> chucking out immigrants. It's illegal immigrants. Yeah. This is a corporation. America is a corporation. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? There has to be structure. Things have to be done properly. Immigrants are seen as surplus. What are you going to... Mo- and furthermore... Yeah, yeah, yeah. African Americans are not immigrants. They're, They're African Americans. American. Americans. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So therefore, if they cleaned up the, the immigration situation and they were not illegal immigrants, mm-hmm. if this is going to help the economy of Americans who are real Americans, mm-hmm. black people in America fall under that category. Mm-hmm. But because black people in America don't feel American enough, they feel they they don't they feel. Um, they're still immigrants. They're still outsiders. Exactly. Men- outsiders mental slavery. Up, which is that what Kanye is trying to So why do they hate that Donald Trump is going to build the war across Mexico so much then? I feel... What did you say? That, that black Americans don't feel like that, that they're not Americans? They don't feel like... They have like a place. The, they have a America. place in... Yeah. Oh, when so when, when, when Donald law, Trump do. stands up and says, we want to get rid of all the illegal yeah, immigrants, yeah. why do black Americans get upset by that? It will help them. It's a good question That's to bring up to an American. Huh? Yeah. That's a good question. Hopefully, Americans are listening to this and I, they can my, question themselves. That. My pr- my perspective of that uh, was as hard. much as much as obviously that is here, very bro? very. <laughs> 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 what you say, brother? Uh, no, I was just saying as much as obviously that's a very fucking like a genuine standpoint that obviously should be considered. I feel like as far as it goes for 
the position that black people have within America. I feel like they already like they feel that that's a very vulnerable position in regards to progression. They feel like if one group of people isn't allowed the progression that they want or allowed to or they're, they're stepping back, they feel like they're Cast next kind of, kind of thing. Entrance. Yeah, and that's because of black people's self esteem, yeah. which is the same thing that Kanye's telling you. Because mm-hmm. you have to understand something, yeah. Mm-hmm. We don't have to get angry. Okay, cool. Save it was a choice. Who gives shit? Like, 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 really and truly, when you check it, yeah. Like none of you lot in America were actually slaves. Like this is like a, hundreds of years that we're talking about now. Mm-hmm. We just need to let go of this idea now, because you don't hear Jewish people going on about their days of being enslaved mm. by right. black well, people. That's yeah, the thing. Yeah, yeah. I feel like with that kind of topic, especially with slavery. Well, it's in the Bible, bro. Any Egyptians, Egyptians were Egyptians. black, right? They are still black. I don't know. I don't like, no, no, but, no, no, I, 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 I appreciate, I appreciate your outspokenness. I, 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 I went some next one. Yeah, just listen. Edit that bit out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll but, try it, I'll try it. I got come, carried away. As, <laughs> I'll try it, edit I'll try it, edit Shadow out. government and shit. But the reason that I... This man knows who they are, the shadow government. Say nothing. No, 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 no. But no. Why do black people even read the Bible anyway? Because they're Christians. The bla- the well, you, are you questioning why they're Christians? Th- that's that's a different discussion, my man. Yeah. But the reason, no, I feel like the shit that Kanye is inciting... We all know the history as to how it was given to us. Yeah. I feel like the reason that the Kanye shit is inciting a whole lot of positive shit, if we look at it carefully, is because we already have characters who are thinking of the narrative and developing it in a sense. We decide here, we de- deconstructed what actually Kanye was fucking meant. And within that little space of time, we talked about like five different topics that are genuine big topics. Yeah. And I feel like the reason that as much as Kanye is kind of, he seems polarized as an anti as opposed to a pro is because he understands shit that we don't understand. Not necessarily we don't understand yeah, it. It comes down he to doesn't, two words. He sees, yeah, he sees the importance of certain shit that we don't currently see. This is the importance. This is everything. Self-esteem hmm. is everything. In life, in success, the fact that, um, like, because you have to understand something, right? Barack Obama, who is mixed race, mm. not black, mm-hmm. right? But people still classify him as black because... Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Right? Barack Obama, when, when Kanye says, what did Barack Obama do for Chicago? And he's a black man from Chicago, And he's from right? Chicago, mm-hmm. And black people are getting offended mm-hmm. because they just love the idea of the Obama. fact that black Barack Obama was it's black. Pers- yeah. He's still a politician. He mm-hmm. was, it was it's something that was done to you. Mm-hmm. He was given, oh yeah, give him something to, to, to fit, to, to yeah. sh- the same idea of like, where I say to you, like that when you feel like you got a choice, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Give them something to feel like, da, da, da. but it did mm-hmm. some good because now the, some self-esteem to be like, okay, cool. So it helps, it helps, it helps a little bit on a self-esteem level. Like, oh, you can actually be somebody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then, um, which is the same as Donald Trump. Because Donald Trump is not from, Donald Trump is really from Queens and he's really from nothing. So he's not really from a political background and da, da, da. So he is, he, he is just a, you know, like that. Yeah. I've never heard this type of like rant and mindset anyway. That's the like, thing. That's what I'm saying. Which like, is really we, good. If we just rant, no, no, well, Stream of these visionary stream of consciousness, yeah. I believe, is the yeah, term. Just tell him, son. Tell him, sorry, son. Sorry. But it, it's a great, it's a great, sure. but um. it's a great because no, no one thinks like this. And what I've, I've heard, this, this is like, this is why I invited this is why I invited Luke down, man. What I've watched, listened to about Kanye in general. <laughs> no one talks about this. No one talks I'm like saying this. exactly what I'm no, saying no is today's making me feel like I'm going to have. <laughs> But no, it's, like, it's a it's nah, it's a great thing. it's a great thing. Just it's, yeah. it gives you another in depth discussion on what Kanye is trying to I'm say. I'm really holding back. Which is, which is yeah. Really good. The reason he's so misunderstood is because his fucking language and his narrative, and yeah. also the men the mental health thing. I feel but like yeah. just what I, I I mean that's my aspect of it. I appreciate your aspect of it too, but mm. shit, Kanye is Kanye, man. That's the Kanye factor. Kanye right. makes you see or realize shit that you you've been like, oh shit, that's pretty much what he's been doing his entire career. Ah, right, cool. Anyways, let's get to the songs of the episode, man. It's been fucking too long. Huh? Everyone's yeah, yeah, been talking yeah, this shit. Yeah. Let's get the songs of the episode, you know, please. Um, let's, let's go. Listen, so we have yeah. like so every segment we every, yeah you choose every a song, or choose a album, song or yeah. whatever you're currently listening to that you fuck with. 
and just you got the intro and outro this weekish, so oh, Jesus Christ, you skipped oh, last episode, so snap. yeah. Okay, okay so guests go first. Oh, guests get to choose the intro track. No, no, guests, guests just the song, song that you've been that feeling, you've been bumping, listening to that you pop. Someone could have just came out. Of. It could be something from way yeah. back. Just anything. Just a anything song. that's sick. And then we put it no, on the show. Endless way. Oh. Right here. Come back to me. <laughs> God, when he says that, I'm just like, fuck. Yes. What do you got for us? Everybody, everybody heard uh, Jim Jones put out an album? Jim Jones? Listen to Jim Jones' <laughs> album, so. Jim Jones' not... album it's is... Hard. Okay. God. It's hard. Huh? You remember, is it um, when, what's the track where you got balling? Like, we... Oh, yeah. balling. Yeah. Is that one? Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. But now, nah, um, that song with Jadakiss? Yeah. Mm. Oh my God, goodness! What song do I like? That, I forgot the title. How did we get the title? Up? Well, why should do that? Mine's uh, this is one from Jay Faves actually. He played this in the studio the other day. Uh, Cherry Wine by Nas, oh, yes, featuring the late departed uh, Amy Winehouse. I want someone who likes the champagne I like My A like someone to talk me off the bridge Any day or night she teach me how to live She ain't afraid of life Not easily impressed with the rich and famous life Cause she'd have been there and heard all the rumors before She love art, she ride out with me on my music tour I, she I, I'm, I'm just hoping I don't get uh, taken down So I've been taken down twice already so. That's okay <laughs> Universal Universal made that call like, you're, you're getting taken down Well my secondary yeah, recommendation no, that's, that's, that's the let, like good music Kanye said fuck off like, I'll, t- I'll take your <laughs> shit down now just for playing your song so, yeah I know I didn't notice it at the time but <laughs> the the universal one pissed me off because it was it was definitely less than 30 seconds so then, down to 15. bro I just couldn't because the song was too hard the song was too sick uh, um, yeah but I, I don't know man like that Jim Jones Jim Jones's album oh, is fire know. Fire, called Waste of Talent. And the song with Jada Kiss on it is... Let me talk to him. Talking to a nigga that only so dust and powder Fuck a bitch, use her for a crib just to shower Was just in Diddy crib and I party with Puff for hours Till the light came up, who said this life ain't us? Still full to the block and the drop till a dice came up Still shit a tear when I bring light name up It's fire, it's fire The sample, I'm trying to figure out still the sample But um Sorry It wasn't me, it was hot But um, yeah, I'm trying to figure out Yeah, uh, Chad, you got yours already? Alright, ish Please, just take it out of the way, man. Uh, I mean, I didn't even know I was doing this, so I have to do this shit. You did not know on when time. he took your place last week. I didn't even know that. Last episode, sorry. I didn't even know that. I can help you, bro, if you need help. No, no, I already, I, I've already chosen one of the songs from the album of that Glasper, um, Ooh. K. Trinata album. But this is going to be the outro because he chose it as an intro. It's um, K. Trinata with Alex Isley. Who's an amazing singer, and the song's called "No One Like You." Jeez. That is going to be the outro. I've been, I, I'm still trying to listen to the, the, the new internet K Janata song. Oh, I still haven't bumped that yet. I haven't uh, checked I it out. I need to bump that. I need to bump. It that should be good though. Apparently, it's fire. But yeah, what's the intro, my guy? Um, the intro, um, Aaliyah's "Choosy Lover," because that's that's a bad motherfucking <laughs> version. That's a bad motherfucking version, man. That shit, and the way she switches it up. That hits my heart. Hey, and that's the intro. That's the intro. That's the that's intro. Okay, yeah, cool. that's the intro. Oh, shit. Um, Dope. And the song recommendation of the week, actually. Shout out Jay Faves, because when I heard this... Can I get your... Was he when he did that mix? Was really he when he did that mix the other day? Yo. The mix, yes. And Dude. The beat. The beat. When you drop shit. the beat, let us know. When yeah. you drop the... Um... I, already got, I already had an exclusive last time, but come on, let me give you a beat, man. <laughs> what's it? Give you a beat. You ain't even a rapper, son. <laughs> I just want to put it on. Because he gave me an exclusive last time. Hey, why you want beats, bro? You can't he rap. Gave me, he, gave me a, he gave me a full good exclusive and I was like oh shit I need to cut this down just because I don't want him to sue me when I can put it on and the just song, in case no, 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 no. song 
Yeah. So your, your podcast keep getting taken down because you play if, because longer certain, than you should. So, certain songs get paid mm. longer and they can get taken like the down. Independent artists, then, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's, bro, I, talk I, I, to put, me, I put man. independent artists on, but then talk to me, bro. I got like five. <laughs> I got like five, three, got twenty of us here, four bro. Four right there. <laughs> <laughs> Just me alone mm. is like hundred. <laughs> <laughs> I got bit. Uh, we got. Oh, I, I know a few artists as well, but it's just because I. I don't know. I just need to literally have more time to actually organize my shit. We fucking so. with. We fucking. Now nah, we're gonna talk still. Yeah, we'll talk. I'll help you out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'll yeah. make it easy for you. Yeah, let's do yeah. it. Let's do it. But um, uh, song recommendation. Let me go. Let me get say that one. Um, Capital C's up above. I, that shit. Yeah. Is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my yeah. God. Genuinely, man, that shit fucked me up. Man. The one with Dirty Sanchez. Say, check this. Who you want? Try and flex with my senses. Say you stress it because we haven't digressed yet. Climbing the ladder while supplying rhyme patterns that perhaps been scattered in my mind since back then. The backwards had to make a classic. So, man, this is like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, is, is that. Uh, Dirty Sanchez's a song. Yeah, my bad. And Dirty Sanchez is featuring yeah. Capital C's in that case because that shit was fire. I need to. Fire. All of this will be on uh, the thing. You need to, yeah. You can um, get that song on that piff for free. Hey. Okay. But, but anyways. <laughs> that piff.com. Damn, that so piff. You find that. I ain't heard that ad lib for so long. Oh, Jesus I Christ. Spit, but um, yeah, thank you for everybody for coming in. We're going to end this episode here. It's been too long already. Thank you. Love, 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 love. Yeah, man. How's, always, how's, man. Uh, how's your experience with this? How's your experience with the podcast? It's fun, man. I, I, enjoy, I enjoyed it. Right, I spit knowledge it, and shit. Drop, <laughs> he brought dropping some gems. gems and shit. Some gems. Dropping well, gems and shit. This is why I invited you, man. Is, Thanks for coming. Thanks cool, for man. coming, Some man. Like, Thanks for, for coming, for, for, man. Chad's like my brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cook dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all love. It's all love. Yeah, but yeah, um, um, all... But yeah, I like, I like, I like, I like it. It's, it's a platform, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always... Um, you're happy to come back if you just want to be in the background and chill, bro. Like, so... I'm open to that. Mine's like, yeah, be in the background. We can't have you on the mic. Have you? <laughs> Yo. Fucking Kanye rants no more. No, no, no. If you literally, like what <laughs> Cookie just does, like literally just comes in, comes through, chills, and just talk shit whenever. I got shit to do, so I won't. Yeah, yeah, do that, I, but... It's up to you. It's up nah, to you. Sure. <laughs> I've come from. <laughs> if you want to, like shit. Thank you, bro. I, I'll be back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be dope. Yeah. So, um, yeah, obviously, look, quick, quick, uh, Chad, I think you need to uh, plug something quickly. Or... What? Uh, what's just dropped recently? Oh, um, uh, a friend of mine goes by artist, an artist by the name of G Nine Love just released his EP today. I'm featured on the EP, and uh, yeah, it's out. He goes by G Nine Love, L U V. See, we we're talking about love from Kanye. I guess it all goes full circle. But uh, shout out to G Nine. He's he's just. Yeah, man, like me and him just worked on it and, and it's out now. And All right, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chad the polymath on us uh, is pressure in the cellar as well on Monday. Oh, Coming yeah. Out. I forgot I yeah, did that. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that was the 10 minute beat challenge thing. T- but yeah, that's dope, dope. Basically, dope. Yeah. Um, James also runs challenge 10 minutes to make an actual song beat. So that would be online Monday. On Monday, pressure same, in the cellar. Yeah, same, same as the d- same day this podcast drops. So. It drops every Monday. Um, obviously, SoundCloud, YouTube, iTunes. We're on Spotify now, so we got the playlist. All the songs that will be played on the actual podcast will be on the SoundCloud playlist. So just follow that and just enjoy all the songs on there. Um, it's from episode. Um, it's basically all the way from episode ten onwards. So I'm not going all the way through back to episode one. That's too far. There needs to be a link for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got. Put, I'll put it up. Yeah, it's on it's on Spotify. Just type in Kith and Kim podcast. Easy as easy, easy. But I'll put the link on the description below as well. All everybody's Instagrams will be on the description boom, below, boom, boom. especially the guests. Um, you can all get that. Um, we'll be also uh, obviously summer. We always got some ideas. Plus, planned. days of days in a couple of weeks. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I need to talk to you about that still. We'll uh, talk. Um, we got loads of shit drop in that time. Obviously, more uh, drops from Chad, from his label. Everybody gonna be doing that. Anything? Any other plugs? Any other plugs for the man? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Go, go for <laughs> Don't it. Don't get dad. me started. No, 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 no. Go no, for no, it, Doug. No, no, no. Just, just um, check out um, DJ's music if you if you're not familiar with them. 
um on soundcloud or whatever or just check him out on, on instagram his instagram is called love dj love d-e-j-a-y but he's just he's just like i feel like he's he's top 10 of the best artists in the world right now that's dope. Mm. that's dope as far as just like all-round mm. artists you know like your kanye's and your pharrell's yeah, yeah, yeah those yeah, yeah. really like all-round producer musician songwriter that type of thing rapper. yeah yeah he's he's amazing that's dope yeah, that's dope he's, i'll he's definitely check that out I'll, de- I'll definitely take t- t- check that out maybe yeah love dj check that out. Lo- love dj uh-huh. Oh, if you go on Love DJ, that's his Instagram, and then you can follow the link to his Instagram. SoundCloud and all that. Right. Yeah, that's dope. That's Shout. Dope. Yeah, Big yeah. up. We're going to get him on episode, Chad? Yeah, he's in America at the moment. Jeez, he's balling. But when he's back, he'll definitely come yeah, through. Yeah, hold on, He'll man. have to defo, come through. Defo. But anyways, thank you for listening to the episode. See you in the guys next one. Peace out to the man one more time. Woo, 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 woo. Jesus. I've been searching for a long time, and I can't you